welcome. It's nice to have you here. I'm so glad you could come. This is going to be such an exciting day. I hope you enjoy it. I think you will. Isn't it about time for somebody's favorite radio program? Theater of the Absurd. I got a bad feeling about this. Welcome to Tuiville. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. I'll do the job. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Welcome, my friend, to the show that never ends. Go ahead. Make my day. Hi, this is Kevin Pollack. You're, of course, listening to Tuiville with Steve Tui. Yeah, that's that's just too much Tui. Isn't it? Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Roger. Ready to move up. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. There behind the glass has a real blade of grass. Be careful as you pass. Move along, move along. Come inside, the show's about to start. Guaranteed to blow your head apart. Third day of June 2023. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome into the amusement park for your mind, the carnival for your cranium, the holiday for your head. I will be your host, Steve Tui. Joining me as always, Chrissy Martin. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? Good. So, Good. you did your performance again last night? Yes, we all did. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Why do you make that face? Uh, because it's fine that there's other people in it. I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy for them. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, I, I care that you're in it. Oh, okay. Uh, gotcha. They, mm-hmm. more than likely, I don't know, yeah. have done this before. Ah, uh, you know, I'm not. I don't think so. I think there's like a bunch of us that are are new new newbies. New new. Do people still say newbies? Yeah. <laughs> are they having as hard of a time with it as you are? I don't know. Oh, you. I would think that would be a bonding experience. Like, oh. you'd talk about that. Like, <laughs> hey, you know, I'm having a hard time with blah, 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 blah. How about you? Oh, sometimes you just don't. I mean, fake it till you make it, right? I don't know. <laughs> Chrissy, we've been talking for a month on the radio, <laughs> but I, 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 I don't think you're tricking them over there. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, to disparage your <laughs> acting skills, but I don't. That's think, right. It's a, Chrissy's like, like, I'm acting like I know how to act. Yeah, I'm like Gloria <laughs> Vanderbilt or yeah, something. <laughs> is that the woman that made the jeans? I don't know. Just, I think she wore it? a turban for sure. Oh, like, oh I, don't I don't know. know. Glor- yeah, she made the jeans. Wasn't she an actress first? I don't know. Oh. No. I thought that was the jean lady. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I thought right? she was an actress. I don't know. What do she I know? She was an actress. Anyway, okay. Uh, so it all went well last night. It went well. Yeah, yeah. This part that I'd really been struggling with, I wanted to stop and fist pump when I got it right, but I didn't do it. I, no. I, I kept on going. You didn't I, look at the I, audience I, and go, "Got it, nailed it." <laughs> <laughs> I did it because you know our our friend Tony. Used yeah, to be my friend. Now he's our friend Tony. Um, he. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's my friend. Which, which, by the way, Tony, if you're listening, uh, eight thirty to text me about a TV show. Too late, but I'm sleeping. I, I'll text you back today, but I was. I was, I was <laughs> yeah. uh, oh no! So way to go, Tony. Yeah. Uh, so uh, he's uh, he's got a bit that he won't do on stage, and I wish he would because uh-huh. I told him I'm going to steal it at some point and just say it's mine. Yeah. That <laughs> that that magicians. Say, well, that's what people do with writers. I mean, uh-huh. Chris Rock used to pay comedians all the time for their jokes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which is nice to not just steal it, because he's Chris Rock. He could have just stole it, and who would know? Because then he'd do it on television, and then you'd go do it in a club, and they'd be like, yeah, I saw Chris Rock do that. Oh. Yeah, Yeah, and it used to happen with Robin Williams all the time. Oh. Yeah, not to speak ill of the dead, but, you know, not my problem. He did it. So, uh, anyway... Um, pulling myself back in. Yeah. Uh, so my friend Tony says uh, 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 that magicians have it easy. You know, yeah. that at the end of everything that they want applause for, they get to go ta da! Yeah. So we should get to do that with our everyday jobs. I like that it. Every time we finish something, we should get to go ta da! Jazz hands. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna yeah. need to. You're gonna get get your mm-hmm. applause ready. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's. I feel like as a comedian. 
I should get to do that after every joke. Not wait yeah. for everybody to, to yeah. laugh. Just finish a joke and go, ta-da! Yeah. And then, hey, mm-hmm. I want the laughs now. I yeah. Did, I gave you the ta-da. So maybe you do that tonight in the performance when you get through the part that's hard. You just stop <laughs> and go, ta-da! <laughs> I don't and think then, anyone would be happy about that. <laughs> the people listening right now that are going to be there would be really happy. They'll be like, there it is. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Yeah. Um, uh, I was also thinking if you're trying to, you know, uh, marketing things, you're trying to pull people in, you know, you got two more nights, you got tonight and tomorrow, Yeah, yeah. you know, maybe we do, you know, uh, come see the show. It's better than going in a submersive underwater. Yeah. No, 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 don't do that. Okay. It's just an idea. It's more cost effective anyway. Yeah. And and better. And better. 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 Way better. I mean, you know, it's. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) Yeah, maybe guaranteed not to implode. Put that in the window. You know, I mean, it's you know, I don't know if you can guarantee that though, because anything could happen. Oh, yeah. So maybe don't 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 put oh. the guarantee. But yeah. I'm just saying, spontaneous combustion, right? People, but that happens to people. It happens. Not the same thing. Ooh, not the same thing. Not the same. I no. was gonna watch a video about implosion versus explosion because I don't understand. I, don't mm-hmm. I need to see it. Mm-hmm. You know, I need to see it. I don't know. Why. Mm-hmm. I'll write it down for you. Uh, International Widows Day is today, Chrissy Martin. Okay. Uh, also, Let It Go Day. Um, we should sing that today. I think together. Yeah. All right. I all think right. we've we've done that before, haven't we? Have, have we? we? Not? I know oh. the words. Oh, it makes right. me cry. All right. Um, <laughs> they re- a, it really song. is a, a powerful song. Really I don't want is. to admit it because it's like all Disneyfied. But oh man, it's when, such a good song. When the woman sings it in uh, uh, Ted Lasso at karaoke, I tear up. Because it's 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 a big powerful oh, scene. Is that a spoiler? No. Is that oh. first of all, you saw it already. I did. So I I love spoiling I things that you already saw. <laughs> I should that's, rewatch that because I really it's a don't lot of fun. remember. And you can't even say, "Well, it was in British." So I didn't. What season no, was she it? She sang "Let It Go." So when they all went to the karaoke bar, I don't remember them going. Second to a, season. Oh, I, think. I don't remember them going to a karaoke bar. I probably had to rewatch the whole might thing. Might have been the first season, but I think it was I the slept through season. some of that. <laughs> How dare you? I have three more episodes left to watch, and I'm very disturbed that it's all done. Oh, I don't like it but to they be were done. saying something about maybe. No, you're not going to say anything to me that you're going to say anything. No, a no, 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 oh. no, don't. But what, what are Sorry. you trying to do to me? What? Spoiler alert! No, no I not... have purposely avoided all words said oh. last on the internet until I finish watching it. Gotcha. I have gone along with other people that will remain unnamed, Cheryl. Who wanted to watch it all in one uh, sitting? So I've left it alone. I bet she's dying. I bet she wants to tell you everything that happened. She already finished it, right? No, we're oh. watching it together. Oh. I would have watched the whole thing already. Oh, it's so, the opposite. Yes, oh. I would have watched the whole thing. I will jump right in, and and she's like, "Well, why don't we start from the beginning again? Watch oh. all the seasons, and then by the time we're done with the first two seasons, season three will be done." And then we'll binge watch that. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Which is great, but we didn't binge watch it all at once, and it's out and done, and I belong to Ted Lasso Facebook groups, so every time I'm on Facebook and I just see the words Ted or Lasso, I mean, they could be talking about Ted Knight for all I know, and I just scroll down, you know? I feel bad for my friends that are named Ted or Lasso because I won't pay attention to any things that's going on with their kids yeah, or anything. Yeah, Do you yeah. have, a, like, a badge? Ted Lasso Facebook group. No. <laughs> you, flash over. you don't belong to any Facebook groups? I do. Yeah. Yes. So don't make fun of things that you are a part of in life. Yes, sir. As if they're just not a thing. Yes, sir. Yeah, whatever, with your ways over there. Yeah, why don't you go study implosion? I'm gonna. <laughs> Explosion out, implosion in. Yeah, but. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's not like, oh, I better do some research. Explosion out, implosion in. Okay, gotcha. It just, I don't really understand how it worked, though, because, yeah. I mean, how did it get sucked in? I, I don't know if the water pressure pushed it in. I don't yeah. know if the oxygen sucked it all in, or I don't know. Ooh, it was bad. Bad news. Yeah, but that's not what we were going to get to. No. I'm still telling you the days, for goodness yes. sakes. how did we get on there? Because it was Let It Go Day, I think. Oh, and, what are we letting go? we got to let it all go. I, we were just talking about the song, and then it was yeah. the Ted Lasso, we and then the singing. Some, and we got to do some yoga yeah, and let it go, yeah. Sure. Uh, today's National Detroit Style Pizza Day. I didn't even know Detroit had a style of pizza. Uh, hydration Day, Pecan Sandy's Day, Pink Day, Pink Flamingo Day, Runner's Selfie Day. Don't take a selfie while you're running today. That's just you're bound to fall. 
And I'm speaking directly to you this time, Chrissy. <laughs> that was not even to the general you. That was directly <laughs> at you. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, SAT math day. Take your dog to work day. What? I know. What the heck? Come on. How did I not look at this yesterday? I would have loved to have brought my dog to work today. I know. I told you how he was looking so cute when I left today. I did not want to leave him. I could have brought him in my baby Bajorn. (laughs) I've brought him here twice. And the problem is there's too many things for him to possibly get into and chew and eat. Just put him in a puppy sling. I have one. You want to borrow it? I'm not going to put him in a puppy Bajorn (laughs) <laughs> Whatever it's called. A baby Bajorn, but I also yeah. have a puppy sling. It's different. Of but. course you do. <laughs> Not doing that to my Howie would dog. be okay in it because he's pretty medicated, but yeah. Ace probably wouldn't be happy in no, the Bajorn. like, what are we doing? What, why? But he'd be okay in the sling, I think. He also hates when I talk radio talk. So he, it would oh, drive him that's crazy right. yes. to be here during yeah. the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, typewriter day. Um, Chrissy said there's a uh, uh, really interesting documentary out there about typewriters. It's <laughs> the camera pointed at typewriters and they just go. Uh, United Nations Public Service Day. And last but not least, Family Owned and Operated Business Day. All right. Let's see what's happening, for goodness sakes. What's the fuss? Tell me what's happening. What's the fuss? Tell me what's happening. What's the fuss? Tell me what's happening. A new study says men with bigger noses have bigger manhood. Well, oh, finally a study that's correct. All right, uh, so, <laughs> I don't know if it's true, but I'll take it. Uh, the Department of Agriculture has approved the sale of lab-grown chickens. Of course, everyone who's tried them so far says, "Yep, tastes like chicken." <laughs> Uh, as I mentioned, today is National Detroit Style Pizza Day. Uh, I had to look up what Detroit Style Pizza was. It's just like regular pizza, except yeah. it's riddled with bullet holes and it's stolen. Oh, so, yeah, because mm. Detroit's bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk are talking about fighting in an octagon. It's hard to tell if they were serious. Uh, if they are, it could be the first time in a fight where all the spectators are rooting for both people to lose. Just <laughs> Knock each other out. It'll be great. Uh, Indiana State Fair is going on this weekend, and it's holding its annual mullet championship this weekend. Oh, all right. Uh, Not surprising. The crowd watching the competition is expected to be all business up front, and then kind of a party vibe in the back. (laughs) Uh, The U.S. population is older than it's ever been. Uh, Also not surprising, CBS more popular than it's ever been. Oh, okay. Older people like to watch CBS. (laughs) Uh, Aubrey Plaza gave the finger on a jumbotron while attending a WNBA game. That's okay. crazy. Yeah. There were people at a WNBA game? I mean, it's, I'm oh. stunned. Oh. Yeah. Right now, Chrissy's looking up WNBA. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's the women's basketball yes, thing. Yes, very right? good. Yeah. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, Kevin Costner's estranged wife wants $248,000 a month in child support. Wow. Yeah. Uh, could be worse, said Nick Cannon. <laughs> Deweyville. Just say anything, as long as it's compelling and mesmerizing. Hey, how you doing? Clever. Did you stay up all night writing that? It's like the most hilarious show ever. With Steve Tuey and Chrissy Martin. I go through up and down moments. Do I look happy? The new face of radio. This is again a crowning achievement in madness. Welcome to Deweyville. Portion of the show this morning brought to us by Galena Insurance. Have Tasha take a look at your insurance to make sure you're covering all the things that you want to cover and make sure that you're not covering things that you don't own. Uh, I had them take a look at my insurance, and it turns out I'm getting more coverage for less money. Call 219-866-0834. Also want to mention our friends over at the Hideout Bar and Bait looking for a place this weekend to go and uh, hang out, have an adult beverage, maybe hide out. The Hideout Bar and Bait is there for you. 3159 North 3200 East Road in Beaverville. Try your luck at their Renville Gaming Machines and uh, make sure you play responsibly. All right, uh, let's get to our poll question from yesterday. We'll wrap that up and then we'll get to uh, today's poll question. Um, We asked a thing yesterday. I'm sure we did. And we probably talked about it and did some stuff and some things. does any of that sound familiar to you? No, don't hurt yourself. My goodness, you're going to implode. Uh, I'm trying to you. think. I'm, I'm looking at you. You're going to implode. Uh, Just relax. It? It's okay. 
Uh, okay. Do you? No, that was the day before. The would what you TV rather? shows do you watch with your grandparents? Yes, that yes, one. Yes, it was. It was a good one. Yes, it was. A, it was a good one. Lots of you guys said stuff. Brenda said, "Hee haw!" And the Andy Griffith show. Oh, the Andy Griffith show. Yeah, yes, my grandparents used to watch that one. Yeah, I forgot about that one. That was uh, uh, definitely one that they used to watch. The one that oh. sticks out for me though is the 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 Aaron Spelling ones, the Love Boat, Fantasy Island. And the Jeffersons. I know that wasn't Aaron Spelling, but those were the three that were definitely my grandparents' shows. Mm-hmm. Um, was uh, was those three? Because um, some of the other ones that people were mentioning were like my parents' shows. Uh huh. Which, I mean, I get it. Some folks that are listening are younger than me. I understand. I'm aware. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm old. Uh, so a lot of folks uh, said uh, Lawrence Welk. A lot of people watched Lawrence Welk with their grandparents. So we had a ton of those. We had some uh, Days of Our Lives and some other um, soap operas type shows. Golden Girls thrown in there by Dylan. Uh, Cheryl said Lawrence Welk. Heather said uh, Wheel of Fortune. I didn't even realize Wheel of Fortune has been on that long. How long has it been on? I know they just uh, said that Pat Sajak was yeah. was retiring after a certain amount of time. Richie says Golden Girls and the Honeymooners as well as Gunsmoke and Mr. T. Um, Linda says Jeopardy. I was just talking about Jeopardy, how my parents, it messes them up when they come back from Florida or Mm -hmm. when they go to Florida, because here it's on at 3.30 in the afternoon, central time. And in Florida, it's on at like 7.30 Eastern time. So Wheel of Fortune came out in 1975. Wow. All right. It's a long time. Uh, Christina says, uh, Lawrence, Bob says, uh, uh, Red Skelton. Yeah, that's a good one. So a lot of folks jumping in there. Carla says Little House on the Prairie. Um, Creature Feature, haven't seen that in a long time. Honeymooners. Um, Connie says the Mandrell Sisters. Oh, Todd says Pressure Luck. No whammy. No whammy. Oh, yeah. No whammy. I remember that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Shelly says uh, Dirty Harry. Uh, Well, that was a movie, but I get it. Uh, WWF and Golden Girls. Um, Oh, Heather says uh, I forgot about Benny Hill. Yeah, that's that's a good one, too. Benny Hill is up there. Amanda says mash. Belinda says uh, hee haw, hee haw. Then the TV went off because we would spend the rest of the night listening to baseball, then the Grand Old Opry on the radio until I fell asleep. Aww. that's fantastic. Uh, Sarah mentioned, and so did Mike when he called yesterday. All in the Family was one that he used to watch with oh, the, the grandparents mm-hmm. too. I'm sure I did, but I more remember All in the Family from reruns. And when I was a little bit older, I was probably sixteen, seventeen when I started watching. Uh, All in the Family was on every night when it was time for me to go to bed. It was on around 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And so I would watch that at night, I remember watching. Uh, Sherry says Golden Girls and Heat of the Night. Hogan's Heroes and Johnny Carson for Karen. Uh, Gina said All in the Family as well as uh, Good Times. Um, And Amy was asking somebody, uh, uh, Hacinda, what did you and Mimi watch? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, no, it was what did you watch with them, Amy? It's not just what shows did your grandparents happen to watch. Uh, Rachel said the Muppets, yes. Am I crazy, or did the Muppets used to be on around dinner time? Or was that the reruns of the Muppet Show? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. It yeah. might have been. I Was it? It's been on so many times. Yeah. I'm yeah. Tr- yeah, I'm trying to... You mean to... the original? It might have been on in the evening. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Or or I I remember watching it like at dinner time for some reason, and I don't know mm-hmm. if it was because it was reruns or that's just when it was on. But anyway, thanks to everybody that jumped in and answered the poll question. We appreciate it. Uh, all right. So this was one that we were going to get to yesterday, and then uh, we never kind of got around to it, so I thought it'd be a fun uh, poll question for us, and it might lead to a fun discussion just with Chrissy, and we'll just let her you know, go on for a couple of uh, hours. <laughs> what, are, what are some fun or funny or odd ways that you've injured yourself? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 so so we're going we're going to give Chrissy some time to think about it. Um mm. cuz I I know once once up about a week ago, uh you started rolling with them and you oh. you had quite a bit. Yeah. Gosh, I don't remember. I should have wrote them down. No, but that's all right. I think yeah. they'll they'll come to you once once you start thinking about the idea of being injured, you'll go, "Oh yeah, well I remember this happened." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then this. Okay. So, uh so uh head to the Dweville show Facebook page. 
as well as the Q and 98 Gold, like us and tell us some funny ways that you uh, may have injured yourself or uh, odd ways that you may have injured yourself. And then uh, we'll grab some of those comments on Monday and give you guys some Indiana Beach tickets. What was that ruckus? Oh, what ruckus? I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. Could you describe the ruckus, sir? Tuiville. Watch your tongue, young man. Watch it. With Steve Tui. What in places goes on inside that head of yours? And Chrissy Martin. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Welcome into Tuiville. Steve and Chrissy with you here. Happy Friday, everybody. Thank you so much for getting your weekend started with us. The first weekend of summer is this weekend. And because of that, a little bit later on, at some point in the program today, we're going to give away uh, some Indiana Beach tickets. Then we'll give away some Holiday World tickets. Then we'll give away some Deep River Water Park tickets. Since it's the first weekend of the summer, we'll really get summer fun going here on a Friday. Now, I say all that. We'll do all that, assuming we remember. That's that's, 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 (laughs) that's, that's, that's the hard part. Chris, you wrote it down, so we're going to do our best to remember. Yes. Yes. Uh, portion of the show is running brought to us by Gene and Tony's DeMott Auto Sales, one of our sponsors of Summer Fun here on the queue at 98 Gold, 726 North Halk Street in DeMott. Visit with Gene and Amanda today. Let them show you all the cool stuff that they have on the lot, cars, trucks, SUVs, whatever it is you're looking for. I'll be glad to take care of you. Also want to mention Fozzie Caliph Appliances. For whatever appliance you need, head to Fozzie Caleb Appliances. You need a new washer, dryer, they'll take care of you. They've got fridges, they've got stoves, they've got ranges, they've got all kinds of stuff. At Fozzie Caleb Appliances in Rensselaer and DeMott. Be sure to like them on Facebook. All right. Uh, uh, before we move uh, move on for a second, I just want to point out. So I mentioned that we're going to uh, do the, the poll question today is asking you guys uh, some odd or funny ways that you hurt yourself. Um, thanks to the few folks that have jumped out and commented already. But uh, uh, funny or odd, it would be like funny or different or odd. Um, I feel like I should explain. <laughs> Some folks oh. are just jumping on with, here's why my back hurts. And oh. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I get it. And we all hurt ourselves <laughs> at work and stuff. Like, uh, you know, I'm thinking more of like um, one time I feel like I pulled a muscle in my leg because I was too lazy to put down the, the, the thing on the, the recliner chair. So I tried to get up and climb over it, and it was just – I was too tight and I hurt my leg. Oh. Yeah. It was really stupid and dumb because all you got to do is move the thing down and then you stand up like a normal human. <laughs> so, uh, uh, also thought it was really funny. Chrissy was uh, trying to find some things on Facebook a past time she's hurt herself. Mm-hmm. So I thought I'd jump in and help. So I just went to uh, Facebook and typed in Chrissy Martin hurt. And on uh, January 22nd, 2010, it just says hurt my back, dot, 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 ow. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Any idea how you hurt yourself? Not a clue. 13 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Wow. Just, uh, that's uh, so long ago. I have not a and clue. And that's so not you to be vague like that. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, usually you'd be like, I, you know, I did this dumb thing. I was trying to carry a, a sack of wet cement and I hurt my back, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I was carrying a 16-pound bag of dog food, and I fell down. And, yeah, <laughs> you know. Uh, and your friends were, were worried about you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One said, sorry, hope your back feels better. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, one just said, what? Question mark? Oh, my uh, gosh. And you didn't, even answer. you didn't even answer. You were just like, just let it be. You know, I yeah. think sometimes I forget that I put something on there and then to go back mm-hmm. and like, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Especially then, I don't. We're be getting notif- notifications in 2010. Right, I was going to say know. now you're getting notified every time yeah. you, somebody says something. Uh, uh, someone else just said no. <laughs> All right. And then another <laughs> friend said, "Oh no, hope you feel better." Oh, so well, I must yeah. have felt so, better because yeah. it doesn't still hurt. So. Well, good. Yeah, see, it worked out. Thank All right. You, folks. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. So. Uh, it's pretty rare that you and I tackle anything of any kind of seriousness or real stuff in the news, but this Titan thing was so big yesterday, or the last couple of days, that we uh, actually jumped into it yesterday, trying to kind of figure out what was going on, and uh, and gave some uh, some thoughts on it, and some, and now, of course, yesterday after uh, the show, we found out that it imploded, um, which we're... Still not sure whether or not Chrissy knows what that means. Um, uh, I watched a, a video on it from you? Mythbusters. Oh. And they showed how they remember Mythbusters. We used to watch that show all the time. Yeah. Anyway, but they showed like a gas can, like just crushing in on itself, kind of. 
Yeah, it, like it all it all like it sucks just in. Sucks yeah. in. But I don't understand where it just it just go it just sucks in until there's nothingness. Um I don't know. Anyway. Well, not I mean it it doesn't disintegrate. It just crushes. Oh. Like it just So that's how they know cuz they found de- debris, I guess, is what, right? I oh, yeah. Don't know. Um Let's see. It says here, yesterday the Coast Guard confirmed that a debris field was discovered on the seafloor about 1,600 feet from the Titanic's bow. They identified the Titan's tail cone and several other parts. Uh, Coast Guard said the debris shows there was a catastrophic catastrophic implosion of the vessel, likely caused by a pressure fail. It's unclear when it happened, but officials believe it occurred way back on Sunday when contact with the Titan was originally lost. Again, I think that's why if there was some kind of GPS or something, I can't help but think, and again, I'm no expert. I don't know all the stuff about the, the boats and the things. Uh-huh. I can't help but think this company was really um, stupid, really lacking in, in the rules. Well, I watched a bunch of stuff on the C- CEO guy because he was in that, right? He was in the... He, yeah, he was, he was in, in the, it. Yep. Mm-hmm. And he was like, uh, you can't, you know, you can't have innovation without breaking some rules. He was kind of like had that, you know, thought process. I, I have that here. Remember as an innovator. I think it was... I would love to play for you if I was better at my job. Um, <laughs> you get better at it already, well, don't you? I mean, you know, I'm working. You've been doing it. this for like 30 still years. New. Let's still get new. On it. Still new. Still <laughs> new. Learning some things. I'd like to be remembered as an innovator. Listen, I was, I was, I was pretty proud of myself that when you just said the thing, I had it ready. Mm-hmm. Not apparently not ready enough, but ready. You All know, right. at, the, at the ready. Yeah, it just yeah. wasn't ready to be played. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'd like to be remembered as an innovator. I think it was General MacArthur said, "You're remembered for the rules you break." And, you know, I've broken some rules to make this. I think I've broken them with, with logic and good engineering behind me. The carbon fiber and titanium, there's a rule you don't do that. Well, I did. Okay. Um, I don't want to point out the obvious. Well, you didn't. Yeah. You didn't use the, the good enough stuff? Yeah. It didn't work? Well, he didn't have it, like, checked or, or certified. I mean, I mean, maybe he had a check. I don't know. I'm sure he had engineers and things, but not by the... I don't know anything about ships, but by the naval, the the marine, mm, I'm, I rules. sound stupid. The yes. marine rules. Yeah. The, the people the, you should check it with. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't check with the people. And listen, I don't have any problem with innovators breaking rules, but don't put others in harm's way. You want to go out there and try it. You know, the Wright yeah. brothers weren't just sticking random people on their planes every time they crashed. Oh, it was yeah. one of them. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to do your thing, do your thing, but don't take others down with you. Yeah. Literally down. I mean, the, uh, yeah. the, the Coast Guard uh, uh, would have heard an implosion on sonar, so it must have happened before they were on the scene. Okay. Yeah, like an hour and 45 minutes in or something, right? Oh, is that what it said? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this also means that those banging sounds that were picked up uh, were not connected to the Titan. That was just, you know, other lost people under the water. You know, maybe the ghosts of people. We don't know. Uh, maybe it was the ghosts of the people from the Titanic. It could have been the Titanic people. It was probably Jack. Was- Jack is not real. <laughs> Rose, I could have fit on the door! <laughs> I'm sure I could have fit on the door. That's what they were hearing. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, there's also this. The U.S. Navy uh, previously reviewed their acoustic data and detected an anomaly consistent with an implosion or explosion in the area of the Titan at the time communications were lost on Sunday. Uh, it says here, if there's any good news, it's that the five passengers weren't suffering for days without food. Well, yes, but, you know. They're dead. Right. Their like, deaths you know, were I mean, like, like yeah. they didn't even have time. That's what I said earlier. It was terrible, but they didn't even have time to think about the fact that they, it's just so spontaneous. Right. Yeah. In- instantaneous, rather. Yeah, but still. Uh, the five passengers on board were uh, CEO of Ocean Gate, Stockton Rush. Um, the uh, pilot, Paul Henry Nargalot, Nargalet, who's a Titanic expert and a French uh, Navy commander, and three tourists who paid at least $250,000 to go, British billionaire and explorer Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Chadaza Daywood, and his 19-year-old son, Suleiman. So, 
Uh, in light of the tragedy, there's plenty of criticism uh, directed at Ocean Gate for these submersible missions. Uh, and in the future, it could impact whether or not this uh, happens again. But people who have done it in the past say everyone knows the risks and they make you sign a release that lists all the ways you could die. Holy cow. It's a long list because there's a lot of ways you can die. Not just with this. I mean, you know. Yeah. I guess smoking on there. Like, is <laughs> accidental shooting on wonder, there? I mean, it's not all the ways you can die. There's a long list of things. I wonder how know? people... Like, I've signed releases like that before when I've had surgery or something. And mm-hmm. you just sign it because, you know, this is going to happen. Mm-hmm. So I wonder how much stock they actually took into that when they signed it. You know. And maybe that's a different situation. I don't know. but The only time that I ever gave it thought mm-hmm. was, so I went horseback riding when I was young, mm-hmm. pre-Christopher Reeves. Oh, yeah. And I think, like, I had to put my name. Mm-hmm. Like, like, Steve. So they knew what horse to assign to me. Uh huh. Then I went post Christopher Reeves. Uh-huh. And it was like I was buying a home. Oh, and it yeah, was just you really a stack of about- papers. Oh, that I wow. Had to sign, like all these waivers and things. And, and it was around the time when Christopher Reeves was still alive, but, you yeah. know, but, you know in a wheelchair and everything. So I, I wonder if that changed things for horseback riding, mm-hmm. you know? And this will change things maybe for sub- submersibles if they have it. I'm just saying. Accidents happen. Things mm-hmm. happen. We yeah. have plane crashes happen. Things happen. But if you get down an hour and a half into the water and the whole thing implodes, mm-hmm. you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Some, you're doing something wrong. It's not It's not going well. Yeah. Well, they had all kinds of other, you know, issues. They had other- In the past. Yeah. Yeah. yeah not, not good. Uh, James Cameron, um, who did a movie, Titanic, so apparently that makes him an expert on all this, uh, had some <laughs> thoughts- I'm struck by the similarity of the Titanic disaster itself, where the captain was repeatedly warned about ice ahead of his ship, and yet he steamed at full speed into an ice field on a moonless night, and many people died as a result. And for a very similar tragedy where warnings went unheeded to take place at the same exact site, I think it's just astonishing. It's really quite surreal. Yeah, it is. It's also surreal that they would call a director of a fictitious movie about a tragedy to ask his thoughts on it. Yeah. I'm just saying, I know, somebody at ABC News is like, hey, this is how we get James Cameron on. Yeah. I get it, you know, but yeah. it's. I mean, if we had James Cameron number, I mean, I'd probably call him. You yeah, know? I mean, if, yeah, see yeah. what his thoughts are and stuff. Yeah, I mean, if... He's done lots of documentaries about about the Titanic, though, hasn't he? I thought he did... What is it? I'm something? sure he has. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. watched one of them. I can't remember. <laughs> I watched so many documentaries that blend into each other, but I know right. I watched at least one about that. <laughs> right. I'm sure. And and if there was some kind of uh, big news story about one of these people that we've had on the show, and if I happen to have their phone number around, yeah. I would probably call them up and go, hey, you want to come on and talk about that thing that was happening? You know, uh, I'm talking, uh, um, we might have on... Uh, a guy who's a writer and has created TV shows, and he's uh, uh, obviously striking right now. So I thought it'd be a fun way for uh, us and people like us to learn really why they're striking. So I thought that'd be oh, a, uh, an yeah. interesting thing. So I'm going to see if he'll come on yeah. just to talk about. I mean, I know he's out striking, so um, but you know, other than that, he probably can pick up his phone while he's walking around. You know, I don't there'll know. probably be some people in the background going. Hell no, we won't type. Hell no, we won't. You know, but yeah. I mean, we could probably get other people on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you yeah. don't think they have to like put their phones in like a cubby or something when they're while they're striking? I don't. I, I, no? I'm pretty sure they you can just have, have it in your, oh, okay. in your pocket while you're gotcha. walking around with your billboard. Right. Or maybe you in know. your utility belt. Is it crossing the picket line if you write something on your billboard? Oh. Hmm. Can they write a, a text? The can they write... Hot. These are the things I wonder about. Mm. Uh, by the way, uh, last note on the uh, Titanic submersible. Just like everything else in history, uh, the Simpsons uh, predicted it ahead of time. They've pretty much predicted everything. I oh. think whoever writes the, the Simpsons may be... A time traveler? A psychic or a time traveler is a good possibility, yeah. Um, I mean, it wasn't exactly the same thing, but in season 17, um, the episode titled Homer's Paternity Coot, uh, Homer and his long-lost dad go treasure hunting in many submarines and find the wreckage of a sunken ship, Homer's submis- submersible gets stuck in a reef and his air quickly runs out. Oh. So it didn't implode. He survived, obviously, because, you know, he's a 
cartoon and still on. <laughs> but, but hasn't aged in yeah. forty years. But they they predict a lot of things. I mean, you know, they predicted that Donald Trump will run for president. They predict. I mean, they predicted a whole bunch of things that have actually happened. It's so just coincidence, maybe. <laughs> Is it, or do they have a flex capacitor? No. Hmm? All hmm? right. Yeah, I know. you could be right. I I don't know. I'm just saying they predict predicted a lot of things yes is it coincidence sure when you're on on television for like 60 years eventually you've done everything yeah you've come up with every possible idea (laughs) so that might be it too i don't know sprinkle opening and closing in one night the nba draft held thursday in brooklyn two rounds 58 total picks and as expected the san antonio spurs using the number one overall pick in taking victor wembiama the 7-4 center from france yet the pacers very active in this year's draft two first round picks including a top 10 selection getting from the university of houston small and powered forward jairus walker initially the pick at number eight by the washington wizards the pacers with the pick before at seven went with, went with bila kolabale a four on Wembiama's team in France, but within minutes of Koulibaly's selection, the Pacers and Wizards agreed on a trade, sending Walker to the Pacers. Koulibaly went to the Wizards, also coming the Pacers' way in the deal. Two second-round picks come 2028. Walker joins the Pacers from Houston after his freshman year, an average of 11.2 points per game on 46.5% shooting. He became freshman of the year in the AAC. Next up in the first round, the Pacers at 26, bringing in backcourt help, claiming Belmont shooting guard Ben Shepard, naming his senior season as first team to the All-Ohio Valley Conference. Shepard, a 47.5% shooter, averaged 41.5% from beyond the arc in all 18.8 points per game. The second round witnessed two more Pacer picks in a deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. The Pacers welcoming the number 47th overall selection, shooting guard Mojave Keane, a New Zealand native who played his basketball just last year with the NBA G League's Ignite, averaging 8.1 points and 4.7 rebounds per game. At the NBA Draft Combine, he displayed the second highest max vertical leap. Lastly, at 55 overall, University of Miami point and shooting guard Isaiah Wan rounded out the Pacers' night of drafting, having played all four years. He posted an average of 16.6 points per game last season, helping him earn ACC Player of the Year as a fourth-year junior. No draft picks for the Bulls entering Thursday. However, they did not leave empty-handed, trading with Washington to obtain the draft rights of second rounder Julian Phillips take it at 35. A small forward out of Tennessee as a freshman in 2022-23, Phillips posted an eight-point average per game, producing double figures in 13 contests. He was named part of the all SEC freshman team. As part of the deal, the Bulls will reportedly send two future second round picks to the Wizards. This year's draft also seen two Indiana University players selected in the first round at 17. The Los Angeles Lakers picking up Hoosiers freshman guard Jalen Hood Shafino, the Big Ten freshman of the year. Going to the Golden State Warriors by way of a trade with the Wizards, second round 57th overall, redshirt junior Trace Jackson Davis, averaging for the Hoosiers double double figures, 20.9 points and 10.8 rebounds per game last season. Good enough as a first-team All-American. High school sports news out of the IHSAA Thursday. The executive committee approved a new classifying rule to the four-class system for volleyball, boys and girls basketball, and baseball and softball. Initially proposed by the Indiana Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association, the four classes will now align based on a new percentage rule beginning with the 2024-25 school year, the next of the two-year reclassification cycle. It will feature the largest 20% of the schools making up Class 4A, while Class 3A, the next 25%, the following 25% will reside in Class 2A. Class 1A will consist of the smallest 30% of all schools. Since 1997-98, the IHSAA has divided all four classes equally, at 25%. MLB White Sox back to business, a guaranteed rate field after an off day Thursday, moving on with their six game homestand. The Boston Red Sox drop by for three over the weekend starting Friday. We'll have the first game in the entire series White Sox and Red Sox in both Bear Country, 104.5 FM and 1560 AM, as well as 98 Gold pregame on Friday, 6 30 PM Central, first pitch, 7 10 PM Central. Two scheduled days off, not common. 
but the case for the Cubs. Idle on Thursday and off again on Friday, taking time to travel and adjust to the England time zone as they gather with the St. Louis Cardinals and the London Showcase on both Saturday and Sunday. And that's a look at your sports for this Friday. I'm Frank Sprinkle. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful weekend. Likewise, make the weekend great. Make the weekend blessed. There you go. That's a look at sports. Brought to us by our friends over at Hillcrest Dental Center, as well as NITCO. Let's play Find the Big Deal with Stragon Man Till. Give me a call at 219-866-4104. Tell me the price on Dutch Farms Milk. Dutch Farms Milk on sale this week at Stragon Van Till. What's the price? If you get in here with the price on Dutch Farms Milk, we'll get you in for a chance to win a $50 gift card from Stragon Van Till and Tuiville. Good luck. Had enough of those little flies in your kitchen? I did. That's why I got Zevo. I just plug in the trap, insert a cartridge, and let the light do all the work. Zevo traps use blue and UV light to attract and trap flying insects with no odor, no mess, and no stress. Stop swatting and ditch the DIY traps. With Zevo, getting rid of bugs is as easy as click, click, blue. Zevo, people friendly, bug deadly. This message is for Karina, our mom who finished her high school diploma at age 28. Hi, Mom. It's Amadith and Nicholas. Congratulations on getting your diploma. You work so hard and have taught us so much. We We love you. When you graduate, they graduate. Finish your high school diploma for you and for them. Visit finishyourdiploma.org to find free and supportive adult education centers near you. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. Hey y'all, my name is Sierra, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory, then you add the spices, instant classic. Order the Spicy Chicken Biscuit on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real Chick-fil-A guests pay for their testimonials. Hey, Jay, can you finish that induction range installation tomorrow? Orders have really amped up at Nate's Electric. We need to finish installing it first in May. Did we hear back from the grocery chain? It's no shock he needs electricians, like yesterday. Smart fridge. Everybody wants one of those these days. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. We instantly connect you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. All right, congratulations to Harry and Rensselaer. He knew that Dutch Farms Milk is just $1.99 when you use your digital rewards account. And I'm glad Harry's wife helped him out because Harry calls in almost every day trying to guess the price. Just He just wants to play it like it literally is. The price is right. Uh, you know, you can order uh, your groceries online at Stragon Van Till now. That's right. It's never been easier. New online shopping at Stragon Van Till saves you time and money. In-store sale prices, pickup or delivery, online coupon reward points, and more. Strike and Mantel, life made simple, food made easy. Sign up using your rewards account login and password at shop.strikeandmantel.com today. That's shop.strikeandmantel.com. All right, your second chance to get registered for that $50 gift card will be up on the WLQI and 98 Gold Facebook pages here shortly. Head over there, comment with the price on the same item. And you'll be entered in for a chance to win. We're going to draw the winner later today. Good luck. Hey, this is Jim Brewer, and this is going to be really hard to get through. But you listen to Steve (laughs) Cooey. You know what you're listening to. You don't need me to tell you what you're listening to, or else you wouldn't be listening to it. So stick that in your snap box. I don't know if you know, but today is National Pink Day. Today is National Pink Day. Pink? It's my favorite color. Well, pink's my favorite color, too. That's my favorite color. We get it. Your favorite color is pink. Today is National Pink Day. It's a day set aside to celebrate the color pink. I'd like to wish everyone out there a very happy National Pink Day today. Showtime! Welcome to Tuyville. Happy Friday. Happy Pink Day. Whatever it is that you're celebrating, I guess just the color pink. Oh, all right. I suppose. Mm-hmm. Uh, Portion of the show this morning brought to us by Fountain Stone Theaters. 
This weekend, head over there and see Elemental. How about The Flash? No Hard Feelings. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and Transformers. Uh, you can see all those at the Fountainstone Theater. You can buy tickets online, sign up for their newsletter, like them on Facebook. Check out FountainstoneTheaters.com for all your movie fun. Also want to mention our friends over at Another Season in DeMott. Need a gift for any reason? Head to Another Season in DeMott, 605 North Halleck Street in DeMott. Visit them online, anotherseasonfloral.com. Be sure to like Another Season on Facebook. Follow on Instagram. Our poll question today asking you some funny, odd, silly ways that you may have hurt yourself or injured yourself in the past. And uh, we're actually having more fun just looking up Chrissy's old Facebook posts <laughs> than we are uh, anything else. We just decided because we, we're both aware that Chrissy's hurt herself multiple times, okay? Yeah. Over the over the years. I can't oh. even remember all of them, so I thought I'd search it, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's coming up with some really fun uh, just Facebook <laughs> posts. I, I found two from 2010 that that are just random. I mean, I mentioned this one earlier. One yeah. was just, you know, uh, I hurt my back. Ow. <laughs> then another one from 2010, guess whose feet hurt? <laughs> That's just... Random, you know. Oh, I'm so cringy. Is it, is it cringy or just yeah? I don't know. Um, and then uh, and then you said uh, search the word "ug" because we figured you know yeah. that you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of like why how I would post mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, in 2012, you said "ug." I just saw a mouse in the house. You were not happy <laughs> oh, about that. Now yeah. and now, now I have rats. Yes. Yeah. Now you purposely put them in there. Yeah. Um, uh, you said you. I don't like it. Uh, I'm. I'm getting. Oh, I'm getting a bird. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting a, a bird. bird. If I let it out of the cage while I'm gone, uh, it would eat the mouse, <laughs> right? <laughs> It's really complicated. I yeah. could just get it because yeah. I didn't want to hurt the mouse. Probably, I'm assuming. Uh, sure. 2010, sure. Chris. That was 13 years ago. Who even knows? Right. That was a long, a long, person, then. long time ago. Yeah. Yep. That's I'm still in my 30s. Wait, mm-hmm. was I? Mm-hmm. Yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, uh, uh, but yeah, Chris, he's just finding some uh, uh, <laughs> some Ridiculous. random ones. Um, apparently, your feelings got hurt in 2011. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. We don't know why. We don't know why. We're just, <laughs> you were just hurt. Yeah. <laughs> you were you were just feeling tired and poopy. Yeah. You know? so, All right. So, All right. so a lot has changed since then. Sure. Um, uh, <laughs> Listen here. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, well, uh, this one you, you brought up. Uh, well, the kids didn't get hurt today, but I grabbed the wrong side of a very hot iron. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I have no idea. It says, "Well, the kids didn't get hurt today, as if you were expecting that they would." <laughs> I, don't I, was, know. I was taking them through, you know, an obstacle course, <laughs> and you know, through the through the Andes Mountains, and uh, uh, you said, this was also back in 2010. By the way, a lot of things happening back right. in 2010. I for think Chrissy. Uh, 2009, I think, is when Facebook, like when I got on it. So yeah, yeah it was pretty. Yeah. And you needed to go to a computer. Like, I don't think you could post from your phone in, in 2010. No, I don't think so So either, you had to yeah. go to a computer to make a post. Yeah. Well, and so there was a while there, because I see weird posts of mine. Mm-hmm. There was a while there where Facebook would put your, uh, you know, where you type stuff in about you. Uh-huh. It would always say Steve Tui is. Like, that's what it... Oh, I remember. So then I would yeah. put, you know, having coffee and telling silly jokes in the morning. Like, so some uh-huh. of my some of my random, like, memories and time yeah, hops... I bet mine are like say, that, too. Yeah, just mm-hmm. say being silly with my friend in the morning. Like, things like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so Chrissy back in August of 2010 said, <laughs> Well, the kids didn't get hurt today, but I grabbed the wrong side of a very hot iron. Ouch. But Brie is wrinkle-free. <laughs> now, I want to make sure... Is the child wrinkle free, or <laughs> did you try it's ironing your children? I'm pretty sure it's a, she didn't have the clothing on. Okay, I've never done that. So. I did ask you that the other day, didn't I? You did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I never, I never tried to iron clothes while I wore them. I did try to dry them while I wore them once okay. with a hair dryer. Don't do that. You get too close, you're gonna put a hole in your clothes. Okay. Did not know that. Did get a hole in my shirt. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you also said, "Who needs fingerprints anyway?" So. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. Uh, it's true. I mean, so, yeah. Now I can rob banks because I don't have any uh, fingerprints. <laughs> sure, sure, you could. Yes, there, there is that. Uh, so, uh, so we're just <laughs> looking for you guys to tell us some other odd ways that you may or may not have hurt yourself uh, over the years. Um, let's see if we've got some... Uh, uh, some thoughts out there. Our poll question today, of course, asking uh, for some funny and odd ways that you hurt yourself. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to grab some random folks and give them some Indiana Beach tickets. But uh, let's see here. We've got uh, the computer. Okay, so uh, Brenda says, broke my collar bl- collarbone playing badminton against a five-year-old. Yes, now that's the kind of that's stuff we're talking stuff. about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Doris says, yours are working on cement floors, hips and knees. Yeah, that's not that silly. Uh, Sue, working on cement for years, ruined my feet and knees. Yes, again, Sue, not so funny. Um, Marsha, twisted my back running the sweeper. Can't run the sweeper anymore. So is that the vacuum cleaner? Is that the sweeper? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or the Swiffer sweeper, maybe? Maybe. (laughs) Um, Maybe. Uh, uh, your friend and, uh, and also my friend, cause I'm, uh, conjoling her, can, can taking her. Commandeering with, her. Commandeering. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it was a C word. Um, uh, 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 no, you stop it right there with your faces. You knew what, what I meant. It was a word that begins with the letter C was all I was trying to come up with. Uh, Hannah says, I, I pulled my vehicle up to my mailbox to get my mail. And when I opened the door of the mailbox, my thumb wrist got wedged between the car and the door. Oh, I remember this. Ooh, this Ooh, sounds yeah. horrible. I almost crushed it completely because the vehicle was still moving. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> These are the kind of things that give me the the, the zhuzh, give me yeah, the, the Make the, your the knees chills. hurt. Yes. Yeah. Because cause the the <sighs> things where you, where you almost hurt yourself really bad and you realize how bad it could have been are the ones that throw me off. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, she says, uh, uh, because the vehicle was still moving and I didn't realize it was that close, I had to get x-rays and wear a brace. It was embarrassing explaining how it happened at the urgent care. Yeah, I, I get it, Hannah. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's one of those things where you're just like, easy, Yeah, I don't like that at all. So, uh, so yeah, keep sharing your, uh, your fun uh, uh, or odd ways that you hurt yourself. We're going to grab some of the random comments and uh, and give you guys some uh, some fun, uh, some fun prizes. We got Indiana Beach prizes, or Indiana Beach prizes, Indiana Beach tickets is what I'm trying to say. Uh, to to give away a little bit later on today. Also, uh, sometime this morning, we're going to give out uh, a four pack of uh, in, of uh, Holiday World tickets and a four pack of Deep River uh, water park tickets, separate, separately. Ow. Uh, <laughs> Did you ever hurt yourself randomly by karate chopping a microphone? Do you ever do All that? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> It, karate chop things often. Yeah, I talk with my hands. I can't help it. And this thing's so close. I just, yeah. I, you know what it is? It does. Like I just raised it up, and you just saw me raise it up. You'll uh-huh. see on the video later. It'll just keep coming down throughout. It doesn't. It doesn't quite somewhere. have the somewhere. Maybe back here, but I don't know. I'm not very handy. You know. So anyway, no. None of that's why you called. Nor do you care. Um, <laughs> so uh, uh, so anyway, we will uh, uh, we'll do that a little bit later on, but. Uh, I did want to get to this, which will lead into our 10 things today. So apparently the average age of Americans now is 39. So uh, apparently there's a lot of 39 and older in America right now. They're saying the average uh, median age is going up. So it's the oldest America's ever been right now. A new census report found that the median age in the U.S. hit an all-time high last year, which was uh, 38.9 or 39 years. Back in 2000, it was 35. In 1980, it was 30. Uh, it's partly because we're living longer, but mainly because no one's having kids. Birth rates have been falling since the Great Recession of 2007, hmm. and the pandemic didn't help. The oldest state in America uh, is Maine, with a median age of 44.8 years. New Hampshire is next up at 43.3. Utah's the youngest with 31.9, and Texas at 35.5. I really thought during the... Uh, uh, what? What? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> well, you've 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 got a poop eating grin on. What's what's going uh, on? Over I was there? just laughing about Utah having the youngest age. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just certain states' names that crack you up? No, like, that's they're all the sister wives. They have so many kids, but they're all young, and yeah. they're all yeah, mm-hmm. and so that's why the young the age. If you said it was because of the birth rate, then that made total sense to me. So it wasn't gotcha. funny to anybody but me. No, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I really thought uh, 
uh, that during the pandemic when everyone was in a lockdown, I really thought we were going to have a baby boom after that. Like, oh, like, yeah. Like, you know, over the next year, year and a half, I thought right. people were going to be bored and they were going to start, you know, canoodling. And, right. Yeah. And then we were just going to have what kids. else did they have to do? Huh. Netflix. So, so thank God okay. for Tiger King. Otherwise, we'd have a lot of kids right now. Yeah. So, I wonder yeah. if there are pandemic babies. That's an interesting... Well, I'm sure there are some, but I yeah. just, I, I thought it was going to be a lot. And yeah. It was going to be yeah. Like, like crazy. Well, we never stopped working. I don't know about other... Like, we never... We kept leaving the house. Like we did, yeah. our jobs kept kept going just with masks and all yeah. that good stuff. But, yeah, yeah, no, me too. Yeah, yeah, and I, most of the time I was here by myself. So I oh was, yeah, you guys did it like a ro- you, you know. wrote a rotation yeah. or something. Yeah. Who's yes. going? You didn't get yeah, anybody yeah. pregnant. Didn't get pregnant. <laughs> good job. <laughs> time now for today's ten things. Uh, so they say that uh, since America is uh, so old, then maybe we need to change the sign on the uh, Statue of Liberty. Instead of bring me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, let's change it to reasons that they're so old, like so old statue things. I don't know if that made sense, but you'll get it as we go along. Uh, Number 10, welcome to, wait, where am I? (laughs) Number nine, hey, get off my lawn. That's definitely an old person Mm. saying, yeah, old person and... No, not me. I don't care. Walk on my lawn. I don't care. Yeah, it's, it's it doesn't fine. bother and me. It's all dried. Yeah. And the kids it's play like a in desert it. Now, anyway. Yeah, so I was gonna different. say. I see the bare spots where they yeah. play. It's yeah, fine. It's, it's They're des- playing. I don't care. It's a desert with giant weeds out there. We we look like we're in the middle of a western out there. <laughs> you know, it's a, uh, number eight. I can't imagine my life without Pat Sajak. Number seven. <laughs> how about a Werther's original? Mm. That's for old people now. But when we were younger, the old people all had butterscotch. Oh, they all yeah. had butterscotch. Or the ribbon candy that all stuck together. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. they all had that, yes. Uh, number six, help, I've fallen and I can't get up. If they put that on the Statue of Liberty, I would laugh every time I saw it, <laughs> every single time. <laughs> uh, number five, my grandkid was a student of the month at Hoover Elementary. Is that something that they tell people? They just tell people about the random grandkids, I guess? Oh, probably, I like yeah. bragging yeah. rights, yeah. I would, I would add in there uh, talking about the weather. They talk about the weather all day long. When I was in Florida, like they would, they're all in the pool in this gorgeous weather, and they're talking about the weather that's coming, that's gone, that's gonna be here. You know? Oh, that and Fox News. It was just that was just, all. Just, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, number four, uh, no malarkey. Yep, that's mm-hmm, old people say mm-hmm. that. Uh, number three, the only thing hotter than this torch I'm holding is my sciatica. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's an old people thing. Uh, number two, I live in New York, but I winter in Boca Raton. <laughs> and uh, the number one uh, thing the plaque should say since the Statue of Liberty in America are so old. Uh, number one, have you seen my cheaters? Also known as readers. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hi, this is Dawn Wells. Well, Mary Ann from Gilligan's Island. You know what? If that professor could have just built a radio, I would have been listening to Beef Dewey. Dewey, though. The show has been such a success. A great success. There is no one I trust more to tell me what I think. I understand you think it's great and all, but comedy is very subjective. I understand you're pretty funny as a DJ. My comedy comes from taking risks. So he could pursue his lifelong dream of writing comedy. I'm doing comedy. I gotta do the radio. I overslept. With Steve Tui and Chrissy Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and cool, step right up behind this curtain. Welcome to Tweeville. Steve and Chris with you here. Happy Friday. Thanks for spending your morning with us. We appreciate it. Portions of which are brought to us by our friends over at Jasper Junction at the junction of 14 and 231 in Rensselaer. You know, if you're uh, looking to make your house a home, you should really head over to Jasper Junction. There is such cool stuff there. Uh, They have something there for everyone at the junction of 14 and 231 in Rensselaer. Also want to mention our friends over at Jasper County REMC, powering up Deweyville each and every morning right here on the queue at 98 Gold. And right now on video, we are up on uh, our YouTube channels and uh, our YouTube channel. We just have the one. And then our Facebook channels as well. Also want to mention Sanders Cycle. What's your passion? At Sanders Cycle, it's motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides. They have the best that Kawasaki has to offer. Stop by and see them on 231 in Rensselaer. Visit online at SandersCycle.com. And be sure to like Sanders Cycle on Facebook. All right. Uh, uh, head over and answer our poll question today. We're trying to figure out, uh, uh, or, or we're asking you guys to tell us some random, funny, silly ways that you've hurt yourself. Chrissy's uh, hurt herself in so many, many ways. Too um, many to, yes, I mean. It's... Yes. Uh, uh, falling, walking to your car. I remember that was just last year. 
You oh, know? I forgot yes. about that one. <laughs> you you said there was one where you uh, you you took a header over your bike uh, yeah. while you were uh, riding around riding. Uh, through the grass. Mm-hmm. Didn't realize there was a hole, and I flipped mm-hmm. up over the handlebars, flew mm-hmm. myself right off the bike. <laughs> yep, yep. That's uh, that's a good one. So, uh, tell us some of those. All right, so. Um, a uh, friend of the program, uh, uh, Don Wells. You know, we were talking before about uh, James Cameron getting called for uh, for all the things. Um, now that uh, uh, these people were looking for the Titanic, and they're like, "Oh, how can we tie in uh, 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 James Cameron?" You know, yeah. I'm sure a couple of people left messages for Leonardo DiCaprio, and he's like, "I'm not calling them back." And so, said, "What am I going right, to talk right. about? That she should have let me on the door." I mean, what am I going to talk about? You know, so, um, but. Uh, um, but if, uh, if, you know, Don Wells wasn't, you know, uh, stop with the music. I got to do something. Um, uh, uh, you know, if Don Wells wasn't, you know, like dead. Hi, this is Don Wells. Well, Marianne from Gilligan's Island. You- if I wasn't oh, dead, I'd be on their her, show. Yeah. yeah. Listen to her voice. Mm-hmm. Hi, voice. this is Don Wells. Well, Marianne from Gilligan's Island. You know what? If that professor could have just built a radio, I would have been listening to Steve Tui. What are you? What are you noticing? About she, her she's voice? very staccato. She's almost oh. got the the transatlantic, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good stuff. I love that kind of speak. Well, if we uh, if we if she was still alive and I had her number, I'd call her and say, um, "Hey, you want to talk to us about Tina Louise? Because she's complaining that she's getting no money for her Funko Pop." Yeah, she complains a lot. I, I remember over the years she's been complaining about this. Uh, every well, time something comes up with Gilligan's Island, she complains. Um, so uh, Funko put out a pop of ginger earlier this year, um, and she doesn't see a dime of it because supposedly it's based on the character and not Tina herself. It's particularly insulting since the cast of the show never got residuals, even though it's been in reruns pretty much constantly since the 60s. Tina says, quote, I'm grateful for what I have. I have enough, uh, but this is not right. I would have hoped that Warner Brothers would have considered me when they were licensing the rights to my likeness on these dolls. I, I have to tend to agree with her. Yeah, I kind of... I mean, I, it's it's been long enough, guys. Okay? I realize it wasn't a thing back then, mm-hmm. and you know, but seeing how things have changed, and it's not like there's a lot of them left, if any. I think she might be the last the only one. one. Mm-hmm. Maybe you reach out and just say, hey, let's give you a little something. Yeah. Give her a little something. She's 89 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, it says she's the, the last surviving castaway. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah. It's, I'm kind of uh, curious. I was looking at her IMDb. I'm not sure what else has she really done. Maybe that's, you know, maybe that's her claim to fame is Gilligan's Island. Oh, I'm sure so. it's her claim to fame. She may have popped up at a couple other things here and there. But yeah. Oh, she was in Stepford Wives in 1975. A long time ago. It was... Yeah. <laughs> 47 years ago. And <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wow, she has an extensive. Sorry, she's, she's, she's no, been in lots of fine. stuff. But yeah, well, I'm just, you know. Anything since 1975? The Love Boat. Well. She p- played Betty Bricker in the, love, she in the Love Boat two episodes. Of course she did. I'll have yes. you know. Yes, you'll have me know. She was on Married with Children one episode. All right. Yeah, yeah. See, folks are trying to get her some cash. Yeah, it looks like she's done a lot of... Oh, she was on Roseanne. Uncredited. Uncredited. Excuse me. What? Why was she uncredited on Roseanne? I don't know. 1995. Got me. That's very weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just I just feel like, kind of like she said, you would think after all this time, Warner Brothers could go, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we know it's not you, but it's you. Mm-hmm. And here's a couple of bucks. I mean, what is it to Warner Brothers to throw her, I don't know. I mean, I know it's not a lot of money, but seven hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, know, yeah. I mean, that'd know, be. A, I mean, that'd something. be okay. You know what they said though, from the business aspect, we should really do these Gilligan Islands Islands one. Or, yeah, mm-hmm. I can't speak mm-hmm. because there are no rights. They didn't have them then. They didn't set them up. This is great. It'll be a total money maker. That's sure. what the business side of it is. So, sure, yeah. I get it. Yeah, it's. But is it really going to hurt the business side to pay this poor eighty-nine-year-old woman a piece? Even if yeah. you just tell her, listen, we're just going to give you 1% of all of them that sell. Yeah. You know, or mm-hmm. we'll give you 50 cents at everyone that sells. They sell for 20 bucks or whatever. whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah. You know, she can't make something off of it. Who's buying these? Collectors. Yeah, but like, who, what's the demo for those Funko Pop things? Like, who who buys them? <laughs> 
I don't understand who buys. Is it just any Col- kind collector? Any kind of collector of anything? That's okay. why there's so many different okay. types. So there's there's people that just collect Funko Pops. Okay. There's probably Gilligan's Island uh, um, merchandise collectors. People. Okay. Um, there's weirdo Tina Louise fans. Okay. Um. All right, I guess so, yeah. That makes sense. Nostalgic TV collectors. Mm -hmm. I don't know, there's all kinds of different collectors. Okay. I mean, you have two fake geese at your house. (laughs) I mean, so, I mean, you know, anybody collects anything. Yeah, no, I I guess I see that. Hmm. And I've looked at these a lot. I mean, I'm like, oh, that's cool, but I wouldn't buy it, you know? Right, but there's not really anything that you're super duper into. Like... Like collect. Mm. I mean, you like tiny things, but yeah. I mean, I guess yeah, you yeah. collect that. You you collect rubber ducks, but that's like a a family thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I would say that. Yeah. Um, from other places, rubber ducks from other places. They yeah. have to be from abroad. <laughs> Wait, what's abroad mean? Maybe not. Uh, it's like an older woman. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> so, but like, I mean, for me. I've got all kinds of Batman stuff. Yeah, you have a real specific genre. Right. I can okay, so I don't understand that part. That's what it is. Yeah, the right. the liking something so much that that's what you always right. gravitate to. Yeah, I guess for uh, the closest thing I can think of for you would be Sasquatch, but you like okay. shirts and stuff. But you don't have like little figures of Sasquatch. You I don't, don't have like you know. Like, but I had my eye on one for the yard. But I, then I thought <laughs> I thought better of it. <laughs> How big was it? I want to know. It's like six foot tall. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. There's a good chance the police are going to get caught. <laughs> because it, it, people aren't going to know. And they're going to yeah. see this thing in the yard at night and it's going to look like someone's stalking the yard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. I'm not good with themes like or patterns or, I mean, I change stuff so often. Like mm-hmm. my house looks like a person with ADD decorated because there's so many different patterns in every room. <laughs> so I'm not good with like continuing a theme. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, by the way, when you asked who, who collects these things, Hannah says nerds, Chrissy. Nerds. <laughs> and then she says like me and Jeremy. Oh, so, do you guys have some? So maybe they collect Funko Pops. They might. I'm not sure. I have I have a whole line of Batman Funko Pops. Like it's, it's Batman, Robin. Uh, oh. Batgirl, Catwoman, the Joker. But I which like one? Do they have they have to go together, right? And what do you mean? Like, is it the sixties Batman? So you have to buy it like are most, they numbered or most of the stuff that I have is the sixties Batman, but like I have I have a giant Funko Pop that's like a really like big collector thing. Uh-huh. And when I say giant, it's like a foot tall. Okay. Uh, of the sixties Batman. Oh yeah. mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Uh Hannah says, Hannah, you put it out there just so you're aware. How do I not know this? She says, I have the full NSYNC crew. So, in Funko Pop. That I could get on board with. Also, how did I not know that you have the full NSYNC crew? I don't know. (laughs) Wow. Are you you only allowed in her kitchen? Uh, Yeah, Yeah. I'm only allowed in the Uh, kitchen. (laughs) uh, 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 She she also says, and almost all the Stranger (laughs) Things characters. There you go. All right, well. See, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's Maybe I great. should start. Uh, is there is there a line of Sasquatch ones? Or? <laughs> uh, I'm sure. I'm sure there is. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Well, there, that's one of the three stories that I was going to get to. I had no idea that we'd end up that, that far down a rabbit hole on uh, Fungo Pop. So we'll have to get to uh, some of the other things. We've got Elvis Presley's, uh, uh, or Priscilla Presley. The Elvis estate is mad at Priscilla for uh, a movie that they say is a money grab. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Mario Lopez, possibly the host of Wheel of Fortune, and Kevin Costner's wife uh, wants a whole lot of money to raise their kids. So, yeah. So we're going to get to that uh, uh, coming up on the uh, uh, on the next segment uh, that we do. But uh, but right now, I will take uh, the third caller, 219-866-4104, and we will give away a four-pack of Deep River Water Park tickets. So 219-866-4104. 4104, what did I say, the fourth caller? Take the fourth caller, and yes. uh, and we will give away a four-pack of Deep River Water Park tickets. 219-866-4104. Red, white, and dew savings are heating. Your favorite color is pink. Today is National Pink Day. It's a day set aside to celebrate the color pink. I'd like to wish everyone out there a very happy National Pink Day today. Showtime!
Welcome to Toyville. Happy Friday, everybody. Thanks for spending your morning with us. We appreciate it. We're up on the video, too. You can go check us out on your YouTube channel. Uh, just look for Toyville on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. It means stuff. I don't know what it means, but it's algorithms and computer stuff. So, I mean, I'm learning more and more about all the computer things, but uh, uh, I guess uh, at some point... Um, if you have enough followers, you can do some cool things on uh, YouTube. So go and follow us, subscribe to our channel and all the things. Plus you'll also get notified every time we go live on there, which, uh, we do, we're doing more and more videos, uh, all the time. Works fine jewelry, creating dreams and memories through knowledgeable and creative custom jewelry design. Let Virx help you turn your ideas into wearable pieces of art. Virx.com at the corner of 18th and Main in Lafayette. That's Virx. Also want to mention our friends over at the Connection Center in DeMott uh, this weekend. It is their 5K and one-mile run. That's right. Tomorrow it's taking place. For more information, go to DeMottConnection.com. You can also check them out on their Facebook page. That's the Connection Center in DeMott. All right. Congratulations to uh, uh, to Carla and to Justin. I gave out uh, two four-packs of Holiday World tickets. Why? Because I just wanted to. Just because sometimes I get nuts like that. All I just right. Get cuckoo. I should put Chrissy on the video so you guys can see her fun facial expressions and things. <laughs> uh, because her facial expressions are very important because she's uh, now an actress. Regina Musgraves, played by Chrissy Martin. That's right. Last uh, night, Chrissy uh, returned to the stage. Returned to the stage. As Regina Musgraves in Sherlock Holmes, Hey, I Can't Find My Belt. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, uh, she, it is part of uh, two one-act plays uh, that go yes. on. Uh, uh, first is, is Sherlock Holmes, I Can't Find My Belt, uh, starring Chrissy Martin as Regina Musgraves. The um, Sherlock Holmes, and uh, is it in or Sherlock Holmes, The Musgrave Ritual? I'm not sure. I bet I'm saying I think it's just wrong. Sherlock Holmes, the Musgrave Ritual. Oh, yeah. colon. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Are you worried that people are getting upset that I'm playing with the name? Or, you know, no. Because <laughs> I, I, I'm positive I've given them <laughs> more advertising than they've ever had in the history of the Carnegie Players. Oh, not so, in the yeah. history, I'm in sure. In the, the history the, of the, the Carnegie history. Players, more advertising than they've ever had ever. Yeah, I was just thinking, I bet Isaac is so happy he did that interview for you to play over and over that oh, one part. You mean where he said Regina Musgraves yeah. played by Chris Martin. Yes, <laughs> yes I bet sure. he's so happy. I still that. haven't gone back to find the original interview with Russ Martin to see if he said you're Christina Martin uh, oh. or you're Chrissy Martin. Yeah. So, I thought he did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't gone back to look yet, but uh, but I'm sure he probably did. But um, I'm my own lady. Yes. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Chrissy doesn't belong to anybody. I don't. I say who. Yeah. I say what. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who? Chrissy is, Chrissy is fully in charge of herself. Today, Sunny, with a high near 89. <laughs> That's Tonight. right. <laughs> uh, I'm in charge. Here. I, I played that for uh, for Cheryl the other day. And yeah. She's like, Ooh, she, at first she was listening, and she goes, uh, she goes, oh, wait, that's like AI or something, isn't it? And I go, yeah. And she goes, how did you do that? I said, I cloned her voice. She's like, ooh. It's creepy. It's like Chrissy, but better. <laughs> no, no, she thought it was like a little weird. She's like, okay, like, hey, that's that's a little bit much, yeah. But because now, okay, so the the same thing that I use the the voice cloning for, yeah. Like I could probably take other people's voices without music behind it. Hi, this is Don Wells. And and make them say anything I want. Yeah. Take people out it's of movies whole, and make it say things anything I want. It's, it's a crazy. Really, um, what do they call that? A melting? No, Fantastic. A slippery slope. Wonderful. <laughs> Super duper. Um, yeah. Recipe for trouble. <laughs> yeah. No. We should. Cl- I'm gonna do yours. See how you like them I, apples. I think and you bananas. said that like six months ago. So uh, I'm, I'm really not that worried. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm busy. No, I know. That's why I'm not that worried. <laughs> I mean, it's. it's it's uh, I. Uh, you won't remember this by the end of the segment. Oh, and then you'll watch this video if I later. I take notes. I will then, go back to it. Just and wait. And then you'll you'll watch this video <laughs> a month from now. And you'll go. Oh, I'm oh, gonna do that. That's yep. right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what I was trying to say, anyway, mm-hmm. is uh, tonight and tomorrow are your last two chances to go see uh, Chrissy Martin. Uh, as Vanessa Redgraves, no, uh, as uh, 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 Regina Falange. Um, she is uh, uh, starring in Sherlock Holmes. Really? Are you going to wear that shirt? Uh, also, uh, uh, it's a two, uh, two one-act plays, so it's yours, okay? Uh-huh. And then there's an intermission. Yes. And then uh, uh, different people, 
uh, an almost all female cast, not all, but almost all female yeah. cast, uh-huh. is then doing Sherlock Holmes. Hey, are you Ellen? So that'll be uh, uh, that'll be that'll be the second part tonight and tomorrow. The, so the red headed league is the mm-hmm, second sure. part. I yep, think. Mm-hmm, yep. I'm saying that correctly. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> so Sherlock Holmes and Don't Call Me Watson. Uh, followed by uh, Sherlock Holmes. Here, would you like a pair? So those will be tonight. Uh, I gotta get all of my silly, oh, silly okay. names out. Yeah, I think yeah, about yeah. these all day long. So, mm-hmm. um, so that'll be tonight and tomorrow. And I don't know which one I'm going to go to, but I'm going to one of them. It'll yeah. either be tonight or tomorrow. I'm just going to show up. Uh, I'm I'm nervous that what happens if I show up uh-huh. and there's are no seats. Like I don't I don't know. Can I say <laughs> I know Chrissy Martin? I mean, I, you I'm know, not sure. I mean, they might let you stand I, in the back I, or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. Hi, uh, Carnegie players, all of them, all of the Carnegie players on the phone at once. Yes. Okay. Hi. Um, I I don't often do this, um, <laughs> but I I've been promoting the the, <laughs> the heck out of the show. <laughs> I'm gonna need a chair. Oh, okay. okay? Yeah. I, I don't mind running back out to my car and getting a folding chair. Yeah, but I but I I'm gonna I'm, need a chair. I, they'll probably get yeah. you a chair. Okay. I mean, it was pretty. It was maybe pretty. I can, maybe I can stand on stage. Maybe right next to you. And, yeah. And hold your phone for you. Yeah. So would it you doesn't mind? go off. Yeah. 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 I mm-hmm. turned it off. Yeah. I turned it off. I know. Uh, Denise says Happy Friday, Steve and Chrissy. Thank you, Denise. Good morning to you. Uh, so yeah, so very exciting stuff tonight and tomorrow. Chrissy Martin and all of the other Carnegie players. Yes, they are all in it. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, it is uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes, hey, look at my pipe. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that will be followed by uh, um, a, an almost all-female cast mm-hmm. of uh, Sherlock Holmes, hey, we all have long hair. So that'll be uh, so that'll be fun later. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of girl things, you know. <laughs> it's, 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 um, I wish uh, they would have given me a pipe because I need something to fiddle with, you know. Uh, so, But I don't have a pipe. <laughs> doesn't Sherlock Wait, Holmes do- have a pipe? No. With his with his super cool hat, you know? Uh, no, I don't think no. so. So no. all right, well I'm excited yeah. to see it. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> I can't wait to to say things in the middle of it. Like, hey, is that the line that you had trouble with? Uh, like right in the middle no, of it? No, 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 no. You can't break the third wall, no matter what happens. You know, I could I could point my laser at pointer at That's you. That's the you thing still I have trouble I, with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I'm aware. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. they say stay in character, and I'm like, mm-hmm. wait, what? <laughs> What character? Who's Wait, who's who? a character? I'm a character. What, what happened? Wouldn't you like to be a character too? Yeah. So uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, but none of that's why you called. Um, you called because we're going to talk about Priscilla Presley. So uh, okay. the Elvis estate not happy with Priscilla Presley. Uh, they feel like she's uh, uh, the, just out for all the money. The building, the estate. Like, who is the estate? Is that people? Is that a board? Yes, is an it... actual building is mad at Priscilla <laughs> Presley. Graceland is just real we, tip. We walk that... by and it goes. Hello, I'm Elvis's <laughs> building. Yes. Uh, that sounds like a little bit like Senior Navel, my belly button. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Just, no, just keep sharing. Just keep sharing. Just uh, <laughs> it was really uh, uh, just, just a silly voice. Uh, wasn't the trying kids, to be your navel. The kids used to uh, hate what I, I used I, to I, do. I just, I didn't, wasn't trying to impersonate your navel, you know. But, uh, oh, that was weird. Uh, okay. Um, okay. All right. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, so, well, Elvis's estate is run by, I'm sure, people. Uh-huh. And I believe um, run by Priscilla's granddaughter, I think, is the one who's in oh, charge of it now. Oh, that's right. They had a, 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 sm- a spat. Well, just because Priscilla was never left Elvis's estate but ran it. To the point where it was making money for everyone. Right. Yeah. yeah. So they were paying her a lot of money to do that, I think, uh, because she was the one that did it. Um, but she sold her story for a movie. I think for I think for a Netflix movie, maybe a real movie. I don't know. Oh. Um, it's. Uh, she did. Yeah. Yeah. This is a thing. It's coming out soon. Um, in October, I think. I should probably read the article. I bet I would know more. <laughs> um, it's written and directed by Sofia Coppola. Uh, stars Jacob Elordi from Euphoria as Elvis, and Kaylee Spaney from HBO's Mayor Town of East Town or Mayor of East Town as Priscilla. Uh, apparently, it's an indie production company. A twenty four recently made a movie based on Priscilla Presley's nineteen eighty five memoir, Elvis and Me, about her early romance with Elvis. Oh, comes out in October. Elvis's estate is not happy with it. 
They say it's another Priscilla money grab, and it was produced without their knowledge or consent. Okay, time out. They don't need your consent. It's her life. It's her life. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's if I want to do a movie about the Steve Toohey story, mm-hmm. and there's somebody playing Chrissy Martin. I mean, of course, now she's an actress. Regina Musgraves played by <laughs> Chrissy Martin. Chrissy Martin would play Chrissy Martin, you know, at this point. Oh, But what if right. I do it 20 years from now? We're going to want someone else, you know. Right. Maybe I'd want... Lily to play Chrissy Martin. Oh, you know? maybe, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. at least then I know she'd know her lines. So, uh, <laughs> what, what do I say? What? Who just said that? Why? You're not wrong. I know, yeah. I know, no, I know. You told me about how easy it is for them. Like they just Oh, my gosh. It's it. so yeah. easy for them. Yeah. Oh. But, yeah, if I, ha- if I did a thing about my life, you mm-hmm. have no say on whether or not there's a Chrissy Martin in the movie. Well, or my portrayal of, yeah. Right. Or right. your portrayal of me, I guess. Right, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and do your own Elvis movie, which yeah. I think you guys have done like 400 of them. Yeah. There's a million Elvis movies out there. There really are. Mm-hmm. So she's telling her story. Mm-hmm. It's fine. It's her life. She lived it with him. Yeah. The only reason you exist, granddaughter, is because of her. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can't exist. Listen, for all you kids out there, mm-hmm. and you think your grandparents are all, boo, 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 boo. yeah, you know what? Without them, there's no you. How about that? Right. Yeah. Try that on your, for your size and smoke it in your pipe. Yeah. And you're, there's uh, some begetting going apples. on there. Yes. You have to beget before you can begun. Yes. With all your, <laughs> be good. Be, yes. be, yeah, be before good. You can Johnny, be, be good. Yes. You have to be beget yeah. before you can be. <laughs> yes. People have to sleep together. So, ah, yeah. What? You started what? it. No. What? Hey. Mm. <laughs> Regina Musgraves played by <laughs> Mrs. Martin. So, uh, so uh, one of the estate officials, so there must be multiple, uh, saw the movie and said Sophia's writing and directing was horrible and that it feels like a college movie. Wow. Said one of the officials who we don't know who it is who's never made any movies before in their life. Okay. Huh. Well, I'm sorry that you didn't like it, you know, from the movie maker. Yeah. Yeah, the movie maker didn't know how to make the movie. Although, what was the one that she did with Bill Murray? I think that was Sophia Coppola, too, the Lost in Translation. Oh, yeah. Oof, I, Sophia was, Coppola. I was lost at the movies. I don't know what happened there. So she's like uh, Nicolas Cage's cousin or something, right? <laughs> I, th- I think. I think. More importantly, Francis Ford Coppola's daughter. I think that's probably bigger than right. the Nicolas Cage thing. Yeah, you but know. she's related to Nicolas Cage somehow. Who is, by the by, obsessed with Elvis? Yes, he's a little yeah. bit of a weirdo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. a weird connection. Look at that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, one of the st- state officials was not happy. He said, "Quote: The set designs are just horrific. It's not what Graceland looks like." Okay. Well. Maybe they didn't go into Graceland to look. Maybe it was what Graceland looked like back then, according to Priscilla, who was there and lived it. Yeah, lived it. Did she weigh in on the one that the one that they did recently? The one we. What, what was uh, the name of it? I yeah, forget. yeah. She was at the. I think her. Priscilla and, was. I think Priscilla and. Uh, um, okay. The one that just died. Um, uh, oh, the, Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie Presley. They were both at the oh, the I Golden forgot. Globes. I think. She died. Yeah, dead. Oh, yeah. man. Man, you got to get that segment done already. I, I mean, because we're never going to know who died. I'm formulating it. I'm I know. For like six it. months, it's just no, a bit on the radio. Not. It's just a stupid <laughs> list on the radio that we're doing. The whole show is just stupid stuff we do all day. Sure, sure, just sure. Just throw it out there. Just yeah. do it. Just like the, the TikToks and the reels. Just do it. Just dive into it. the pool. Okay. All right. Okay. Psh, and you're yes. all wet, and you don't know how to swim, and you drown. Yeah. Drowning yeah. sounds like so much yeah. fun. Yes, please. Let's drown. Well, I'm not telling you to drown, but you're the one who didn't learn how to swim. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'd Nobody teach you. Me. No, I offered to teach you, and you're like, you can't. I can't breathe. I'm, I'm... I can't even breathe. I can't breathe right now. <laughs> Holding my breath. Regina Musgraves, played by Chrissy Martin. <laughs> Maybe you could act like you know how to swim. <gasps> Maybe. Now that you're an actress. Yes, I'll act like I know yes. how to swim. Yes. I want to know. So, an EGOT. Yes. That's an Emmy, yes. a Grammy, mm-hmm. an Oscar, and mm-hmm. a Tony. Yes. Where do we put the Spectrum Award in there for Indiana Broadcasting? Oh. Would that be on the end? Because then, you, yeah. then you'd be an EGOTS. 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 Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah, it makes Cause, sense. Because SEGOT would be kind of weird, although yeah. that was the first one you got. So it would be sure. SEGOT. C- 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 Steven SEGOT. SEGOT. Yes. Yeah. Regina Musgraves, played by Chrissy Martin. <laughs> Because I want to know, can we get you a Tony 
for something done in, in Rensselaer. It's all plays, right? It's, so, it doesn't have to be on Broadway. Um, for a Tony, I feel like you'd have to be able to sing and dance, which I can't do either. Wait, no, no, time <laughs> out. It's not just for acting in a play. You have to sing and dance, too. Aren't the Tony Awards for music? For, no, I is think it they're plays? just, for, for, just oh, for plays. Oh, I thought it was like a musical thing. Yeah, no, I think oh. it's just for plays. Okay. So we could get you that, you know. All right, all right. And then Emmy... I mean, now they're starting to give Emmys for streaming TV. Sure. We're on the video. We're on right now. So we're on television right now. You could watch us on your TV on, uh, on your, with your Amazon Fire yeah. Stick or your, your Roku on your YouTube channel. Give me all See? your Emmys right See? now. See? So, so now we're looking at, we're looking at the, 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 uh, the Emmy for that. Sure, sure. The mm-hmm. Tony mm-hmm. for, uh, you know. Regina Musgraves played by Chrissy Martin. Yes. Right. Uh, Who needs a Tony? I have your Tony. I got that's, it. That's, <laughs> Not my Tony. He belongs to himself. He can do whatever. <laughs> he says yeah. when. He says <laughs> how much. He says who. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> it's right. It's right. So uh, yeah. So we can get you nominated for uh, for a Tony for sure uh, for Sherlock Holmes. Hey, is that Elvis over there? Um, so uh, yeah. So then so then we just got to get you a Grammy somehow. You know. Which we said we were going to have you sing "Let It Go" today. You know, we can't That's do it on video because people true. would be like, "Oh, they got a song," so we'll do that off video. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So, so can you um, use the auto tune or AI for like? Because I can't sing at mm-hmm. all. Like, I, I couldn't. I can't carry not a my, tune. Not even, my problem. You said you even with do it. your help and and like a, a bucket, I, I could not carry a tune. <laughs> I, well, I didn't. I didn't say I was going to make you do it. You just wanted to do it. You said you would do it. Oh, okay, I brought sure, it up this sure. morning, and you yeah. were like, "I can't wait to do that." That's what you said. That's what I yeah, said. That's yeah, what I remember. That's, that's what I remember. That's, that's, that's what I heard. So yeah. Gina Musgraves so, played by yes. Chrissy Martin. Yes, I sing. I dance. I throw confetti. Sure. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, do it up. Get nuts. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so the people that uh, uh, with the Elvis people are very upset. Priscilla had uh, uh, quite the opposite reaction, of course. She said she's excited to see her book's interpretation, and she's an, an admirer of Sophia's work. Oh, so right. yeah. So there you go. Good for you. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, and the last thing we were going to get to, which is taking a long time to get to, Kevin Costner's wife, Christine, wants $248,000 per month in child support for their three children. A paltry and, $248,000. Yeah, and Chrissy's not happy about it. She's, she's very upset about it. Come on now. <laughs> um, well, here's the thing, though. It's not based on, like, because yesterday the first thing you said was, like, you know, what kind of lifestyle does she have to be accustomed yeah. to? Yeah. It's not about that, though. I think it's based on a percentage of whatever you make. I oh, think I think that's how they decide. That's how they come up with those ridiculous numbers. Yeah, that's why it's so crazy. Yes. So Kevin's oh. 2022 income was 19.5 million dollars. That's a lot of money. Now I know 248 thousand not a lot of money to you, um, um, but to the rest of us, yeah. Um, especially per month, that that kind of kicks it up a notch. Sure. You know, when it's every month. Yeah. You know, when every month you're getting the 250 grand. It's quite a gravy train. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, you know. You could hop on a submersible if you wanted to. I mean, not now, but I mean, you could have. Well, you're just you know. $2,000 shy of being able to yeah, hop onto right, the submersible. Right, so within two months, you could do it. Um, so uh, the family's net income after all expenses and taxes was about $7.6 million. Uh, court documents filed by Costner's attorney said he already paid Christine $1 million as, as stipulated in their prenup. Uh, right, but that's not for child support, but that's, mm-hmm. that's just your prenup. Like, yeah. You just give her money just because she was married to you. Um, he agrees to also pay 38000 a month in child support in addition to 100% of certain child-related costs. He also agrees to pay 30000 a month for a rental home for her and $10,000 advance for moving expenses. 100% of certain child costs? Why? He didn't... She, she doesn't have to pay any of it? Because he's Kevin Costner and he made... Nineteen point five million dollars last year. Well, yeah, but two hundred and forty eight thousand dollars a month, that's gonna what is that a year? Well no, that's what she wants. That's not he's not saying that's what he was gonna pay. That's what she's asking for. Yeah. So yeah. That's twelve. That's two million nine hundred okay, so it's still a drop in the bucket compared to nineteen million, but what is it? Just over two million, million you said? Two, almost three million yeah. dollars a year. Yeah, so just cause three million of his twenty million. Now here's here's where things change over time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, that was his that was his twenty twenty two money. Mm-hmm. Which he probably is making a lot of money for Yellowstone plus movies. When's the last movie he's been in? Oh, he just did one, like with somebody and other people. 
That's, I don't know. He does movies. Okay. I don't think he does movies anymore. He does movies. He's, he was in like White Fang. Was that his, his movie? <laughs> what movie was he in with the Dances with the Wolves? Are you, are you making up stuff like I am with Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Dances with Wolves. Sure. I just saw a, like a wolf in my head. I could not think of Go see Chrissy Martin tonight, starring Regina Musgraves, played by Chrissy Martin. <laughs> That's right. In Sherlock Holmes, hey, I'm also in Yellowstone. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, he does movies still. He's done more movies since Dancing with Wolves <laughs> in, like, the 90s. White, is White Fang a movie? <laughs> For goodness sakes. I mean, <sighs> he's done a lot of stuff. He's Kevin Costner. He just did one with somebody, and I, some woman that he was in other movies with. I couldn't remember who. Why are uh, they getting Diane a di- Lane, I think. So why even get a divorce if he's going to continue to pay for everything? Um, <laughs> why are they? Because he doesn't want to be married to her and she doesn't want to be married to him. Oh, all right. I forgot that marriage was all about the finances. <laughs> which, what, what, I forgot about that part of it, that, that love doesn't enter oh. into it at all. I, for, I forgot about that. I, I, I misunderstood. Sometimes love just isn't enough. I think we've heard uh, some songs about that. It's yeah. not enough, apparently. Nineteen and a half million is, or three million is, uh, her piece of it. Um, let's see. I'm looking at his IMDb page. Um, uh, his last movie was 2021. He was in uh, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. In 2020, he was in Let Him Go. In 2019, hmm. he was in a thing. 2019, he was in a thing. 2017, he was in a thing. 2016. So he does movies. My point. Does yeah, movies. like one a year, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, he's also doing a TV show, so right, he's right. doing that. Sure. My what I was going to say is he's probably like you know eighty seven or something like that. He's not going to keep making twenty million a year. Mm. So when she says she wants you know three million a year, okay, but for how long? Like because he's sixty eight. He's, he's not going to continue. Not going to continue making that kind of money hmm. the whole time. I'm just saying. So, so it just seems like a lot. So we'll see. I do think, though, at some point, it's not a bad idea for Kevin Costner to say, listen, it's called child support. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to pay for all the stuff for the kids. Uh, I'll pay for all the kids' stuff. Here's your prenup m- money. We're all yeah. set. I'll, I'm paying for all the kids' stuff. Whatever yeah. the kids need, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy, pay the tons of it, whatever it is. Yeah. Here's, here's, here's their debit card. They can use it out of that. Yep. Huh. I don't know. Is that the same as child support? Is it all set? If you pay for all their stuff, you know. I don't know. I mean, I guess you got to pay for their food and stuff. So, so some has to go to mom. Yeah. You know, and food and clothes and you know and stuff. And mm-hmm. no, you don't think so. No? I don't. I, no. F- f- shoe fly, don't bother me. Oh, we've got a gnat. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that cr- people understand because he wasn't saying no to child support. She's saying no to the gnat. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. no to the gnat. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. yes to child support. Pay yes. your child support. Yes, pay your child and support. Often. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, even if your kid, children are gnats, you know, and by that I mean annoying. Tuival, the amusement park for your mind. The rise of radio from a scientific curiosity to the most powerful force in American life. A time when radio was king. With Steve Tui and Chrissy Martin. Cut out the jibber jabber. I don't get to hear all your jibber jabber. Do you know where the phrase jibber jabber comes from? Oh my God, you're about to jibber jabber about jibber jabber. That was too stupid. I don't know about anybody else, but I have fun in the morning with Chrissy Martin here in, uh, in the queue in 98 Gold. Uh, portions of which are brought to us by our friends over at Gene and Tony's DeMott Auto Sales, 726 North Halleck Street in DeMott. Visit with Gene and Amanda today, and they'll be glad to get you into your next used vehicle, whatever it is you're looking for. Uh, visit geneandtonys.com. Now that I have uh, Tony spelled right on our little scroll, I can put it up there. Visit geneandtonys.com. Uh, for uh, Gene and Amanda in your next used vehicle. Also want to mention our friends over at your local McDonald's. That's right. They take care of our coffee break. Let them take care of yours. I love, love, love using their app. And today is Friday. So a uh, very important part of Friday, uh, Chrissy Martin. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm going to go to your play tonight mm-hmm. or tomorrow. I don't know which day. One of the days. <laughs> it's going to keep I me don't... guessing, huh? Uh, <laughs> I'm being 100% honest. Mm-hmm. It really depends on how tired I am. It, it's probably best I don't know, honestly. It's Oh, you'll know. Oh, I'll know. <laughs> oh, you'll know. 
I'll let all the folks know. Oh, okay. Like, there she is. You see her up there? That's Chrissy Martin. That's our Chrissy mm-hmm. Martin. That's our Chrissy Martin up there. That's right. <laughs> oh that's, my that's her. That's that's our Chrissy oh, Martin up there. No. That's yeah. Uh huh. That's uh that's her. That's our Chrissy no, Martin. Don't Regina you? Musgraves, played by Chrissy Martin. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's our Chrissy Martin up there. Oh. Yes, Regina Musgraves, starring in Sherlock Holmes. Hey, get me a quarter pounder. <laughs> so, um, so uh, I'm thinking. No matter how late it goes, yeah, we can run over to the McDonald's on College Avenue afterwards to get food yeah. because they're open 24 hours. Yeah, there you go. So even if, let's say, you guys get done as mm-hmm. cast members and you go backstage and you do whatever actors do. I don't know. You guys get crazy. Yeah, yeah. Do all your woo showbiz stuff backstage. Whatever oh. you guys do. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I'm not a part of it because oh. I'm not there. No, you know, I'm, right. I'm radio showbiz. Like, we don't do anything. Right. You know? Sure, sure. But, like, actor showbiz, it's crazy time. So, <laughs> uh-huh. um, and uh, so afterwards, however late that goes, however late your showbiz crazy goes, mm-hmm. you can go over to the McDonald's on College Avenue. They're open 24 hours on Friday yeah. and Saturday. So, you can use your app. ba da ba 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 Loving it, staying up late and in the court pound witches. <laughs> nice. I, I like to add stuff to their songs. Mm-hmm. I, I wonder if they'll ever submit that to the National McDonald's by yeah. my jingle ideas. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think they will. I don't think anyone then you'll would become like a them. big deal. Sure. No, yeah. Not just yeah. in Iowa, but all over. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Indiana. Right. That's where That's we're at. <laughs> You said not just in Iowa. What? I mean, I'm fully aware that you have trouble with directions, okay? (laughs) I I totally get that, that you have a hard time with directions. But I was sure you knew where you were, like where you were right now. Because you were in Iowa at one time. (laughs) But look behind me. Right? Big deal. Big deal. Yeah. It says here in Indiana is where we became a big deal. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> Not just in Iowa. It's like my sister, when we were kids, kept saying we were Italian. She's like, I know it's something with an I. We're Irish. <laughs> it's not Tuolini. It's Tui. Ooh, Tuolini. Uh, uh, now I have to... Get the face palm sponsored because, as he said, we're in Iowa. That face palm brought to us uh, by our friends over at Supercuts. Visit jobs.supercuts.com if you're a stylist looking to uh, uh, do hair. Uh, they're family owned and operated here on Family Owned and Operated Business Day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, visit jobs.supercuts.com and you can click on the town you want to work in Rensselaer, uh, Lowell, Valparaiso, Chesterton, and soon to be open in Bourbonnet. So, all kinds of good stuff there. All right, so um, none of that's why you called. I came across this uh, actually yesterday on one of the uh, 207,306 different websites that I go to daily to find fun stuff for us to talk about. This one's called Tom's Guide, and they talked about things that your neighbors hate, not you specific. I don't want you to get self-conscious. Oh, They don't know you. They didn't study Chrissy Martin. Okay. okay? So it's just the general you. Okay. Things that your neighbors just really have had enough of you with, okay? Okay, okay. Um, mowing the lawn at, lawn at odd hours. Have you ever had a neighbor that mows their lawn just way too much? Mm, I don't know. We had one in Bourbon A. Mm-hmm. I swear he mowed the lawn three times a week. Oh, and I'm that, like, that's too much? Yeah. Well, it's just always with the loud? Yeah. Always? Uh, stop. It can't get any shorter. Yeah. I know you're bored or you don't like your wife or whatever it is. I don't mm-hmm. know. But- Go drink like other normal men. Like, go to a bar and just hang there. Go fishing. Go do something. Yeah. Don't cut the lawn every other day. My lawnmower has a headlight. <laughs> are, they, <laughs> are they encouraging me to, to mow the lawn at odd hours? There's times <laughs> that, that you say things. <laughs> and I think the term out of left field... <laughs> Odd like hours. A, uh, this, is, this is relevant. Okay. All right. Now I understand your tie-in. Okay. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay. I, My lawnmower is a headlight. Are they a, saying I should do it in, in the dark? <laughs> should I, I mow the lawn in the dark? 
I don't, my headlight? I don't think you should, but maybe if you're cutting the lawn and the sun goes down and you have to, sure. Oh, all right. I, I think <laughs> I'd kind of be annoyed, you know? All right. If I was, if the sun was down mm-hmm. and the lawnmower started, I'd yeah. be annoyed. Now, in other people's defense, yeah. I go to bed before the sun goes down, <laughs> so I understand if they have to cut the yeah. grass while I'm sleeping. Sure. You know? That's why, like I said, I'm not mad at our Tony. You know, yeah. um, used to be my Tony, but now he's our <laughs> Tony, you know, um, not the award, just the actual fellow, you know. Right. Um, although when you meet him, you'll realize he's about the same size. Um, you know, listen, I make little jokes about him because he's he does, too. <laughs> yes. um, uh, hi, good morning. You're on the air. Did you want to be? Sure. OK. Uh, hi. Who's this? Thank you to Chrissy Martin. I could never understand that either. My riding lawnmower has headlights. Oh, see. OK. But do you cut your lawn at night? No, I don't. I hire it done. Somebody oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Does it? But no. <laughs> uh, all right, and and just a suggestion: you probably don't need the lawnmower anymore, then, right? I, I just I just couldn't figure out why does it have headlights on it, though. All yeah. right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you. Uh-huh. Have a good one. Thanks. Uh, bye-bye. Uh, also, I forgot to mention that Chris in Francisville won the Deep River Water Park ticket. Oh, That's yeah. what I want to do. Yay! Yeah. For Chris. Yay. Thank you. Congratulations, Chris. Uh, she's very excited. She said to go to uh, Deep River Water Park. So Yeah. Uh, Look for the Celebration Station band. They're there. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry They're in the rafters this. somewhere. Don't. It's legend. Yeah. They're somewhere. Have you gone? I haven't since I found out they were there. I haven't had a chance, but I'm I'm gonna, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'm gonna search all the mm-hmm. places. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. Uh, um, oh, I I was talking about uh, our friend Tony. So yeah. our our friend Tony, I, I'm not mad at him that he texted me at eight thirty last night. That's a normal time for people to text. Sure. Yeah. But I was asleep. It's oh a, you know, yes, yes, yes. He was yes. texting me that he was watching uh, uh, the newsroom, and he said I forgot how good it was. So, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he knows I'd love all things here in Sorkin, so I appreciate him telling me that. Yeah, me too. I just, I, <laughs> you know, too many words, too many things to pay attention to. Too many words. Listen, yeah. Now that I understand you were confused by a children's cartoon <laughs> you pointed out earlier today, <laughs> had too many plot twists. Oh, in, my you know. Facebook posts are ridiculous. <laughs> Although we did now come up with a new segment. We're going to start doing this every week. We're going to look back at our old Facebook yeah, posts. Yeah, and cringe. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. I think it'll be we'll a lot of fun. We'll do a code word yes. and look it up. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be fun. Uh, all right, some other things that our neighbors hate. Uh, not ours personally, but neighbors in general. Parties or backyard barbecues that go too late. Yes. Yes. I have uh, yeah. I have neighbors that uh, sit in the back all summer long and drink and get loud. Oh, and yeah. They're all so loud. Long. Yeah, yeah. All summer long. Yeah, they're, they're probably fans of. Uh, kid rock too um i don't know if they're they're so loud that i don't know if they're arguing or they're just loud oh there's times that i think that they're arguing yeah and and i'm like oh okay now they're just jovial yeah yeah it's jovial loud mm-hmm. drunk yeah. jovial loud we you don't know. really hang out in the backyard. It's kind of small, so I no, hang out in the porch. In the yeah, back. I hang out yeah. in my uh, my screened in porch. I mm-hmm. love that, mm-hmm. but I don't really go out in the backyard mm-hmm. necessarily. I mean, I do, but I'm just out there with Ace, so we don't yeah. really talk a lot. You know, right? Yeah. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> um, uh, big bonfires and fire pits. Uh, they say just make sure you have a good spot. Consider the direction of the wind. Your neighborhood might uh, have some rules about fires, so look into that. Yeah. So, so and you guys. I mean, you have a small backyard, but that's the only time probably you go out there is for fires, right? Yeah, yeah. and I have a teeny fire pit, yeah. and so hopefully it doesn't get into the neighbor's yeah. yard. But, yeah, um, well, nobody can use it right now. Burn ban. Don't don't be like Yeah, no, I bought wood weeks ago, and it's just sitting in there because I haven't, you know. Waiting to, yeah. waiting to mm-hmm. get lit up. It's dry. Mm-hmm. Dry, let it up. Later. i got to burn the junk mail, so I need to mm-hmm. get on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, poorly positioned floodlights. Um, yeah, you don't want them shining into your neighbor's yard. Or bugging your neighbor, oh, yeah. you know, into your neighbor's window, you know, yeah. things like that. We do have a uh, motion activated one, mm-hmm. like a solar one out there. Yeah, for because when the dogs go out, I want to be able to see them at night. Yeah. You know, yeah, no, that makes sense. Hopefully, it's not shining in their way. Now I'm worried. No, <laughs> no, I have a I have a floodlight out in my backyard, but it yeah, shines out the back, and there's no one there to be bothered. Yeah, by it, so yeah, it's at the side, so yeah. I think it's okay. Yeah, uh, and the last one is loud dogs. Oh, yeah, obviously they're going to bark. Just be considerate about it. Uh, like if they're annoying you by barking inside, don't let them outside to bark all day instead. So yeah, there there is that. Mm-hmm. I I was over by Cheryl last week, mm-hmm. and there was a dog I heard for like two days in a row. It almost got 
to the point where I was going to walk around the neighborhood to make sure like a dog wasn't left outside or something. And the, oh, was it I, coming from the direction of my so house? So it was, it, was, it was your house. <laughs> I think it was your house. It might have been your house. No, yeah. nobody was left it's, outside. It's, but no. they bark. They bark a lot. No, no, I mean, no. This was like, it was it was barking for almost two days, it felt like. And I was just like, hmm, I should probably check into that. And oh. Then it stopped. So I mean, maybe it, I mean, it stopped. Oh. Maybe it oh, okay. got wet inside. Maybe it just tired itself out. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Okay. But it stopped. My little dogs never get tired of barking. They no. bark. Nonstop. The big one does not bark unless, I mean, mm-hmm. one bark and he's done. But the little one's nonstop. Oh, Ace Ace doesn't bark that much, mm-hmm. but definitely wants to do it at 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, you know. Well, here's the thing. He hears other dogs out there. Oh, and, like, again, yeah. I fall asleep at, like, 8 o'clock at night. So when he hears one at 9, I feel mm-hmm. like it's the middle of the night. Yeah. But he bolts out of bed yeah and and will bark and bark and bark and bark at the back door because he hears the other dogs out there yeah. yeah and he just he just wants to hang out with them he just he's yeah. screaming to me to go let me go out and play with them they're yes. so cool the dogs are out there i want to play you with them you need to take him to the dog park once in a while he likes to socialize um i do have to take him to the dog park yes, yes. I, you know i I'm I'm sorry. I'll I'll fit that in with everything else that I'm doing. <laughs> you won't even go investigate the Super Explosion Band or whatever wherever they're at at Deep River Water Park. What's there? What? The oh, uh, jeez, I don't remember the name of the, that right. one. But there's it's more... a, they're an animatronic band. Yeah, right? an animatronic yeah. band. Yeah. I think yeah. uh, I don't know the name of it. Uh, the, uh, the one everyone knows is Rock of Fire Explosion. Yeah. that's not them. That's not them. Yeah. No. No, it's the Chuck E. Cheese band or something. Mm-mm. No, no, that's who's up there then? <laughs> it's, it's it's like Celebration Station only had like five locations in the whole. Oh, US. Celebration Station! I knew yeah. you said it. I'm like, so why it's are we like, uh, no, no, I you don't said it. Yeah. The name of it. No, that's fine. Celebration Ma- Major Station. Major Moose was the main guy. Of course he was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the name of the band. Major Moose. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, Chris, you may know him. Uh, he's your husband. He says, cut, Chris, cut the vocal cords. Chris. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. I'm my dogs? What? I, I, mm, That's what he's talking about. Yes. Oh, mm, he frequently says mm, that because so, the little dogs yeah. just mm-hmm. Bark, 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 bark. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and, and Alicia just says, hey. Hey, Alicia. Hey. Thanks for hanging out with us. We, we, <laughs> we, we appreciate it. So, uh, <laughs> so I, I don't really know. Uh, oh, that was it. That was the end of the, the segment. So that, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Let's wrap that up. Okay. See you later. <laughs> All right, Chrissy Martin. I mean, that's just now we're talking silliness out there. I mean, for goodness sakes, how do I get our volume? Oh, up? There hello. We I we're, don't know. We were on the radio, but I just you're couldn't in hear charge us. of I know, that I just part. Um... I was blocking things with my notebook. <laughs> I had my notebook oh. out and I was blocking things and I was not looking at things. Yeah, no, we're not. I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't let you have a free cat. We're not letting you get a ten thousand dollar dog. Oh, come on! Sense. Where not... is my cat? It's... My cat's gone. He left. Has he... anyone seen a khaki colored kitty? <laughs> First of all, be, before anybody gets worried, no, Chrissy's cat is not missing. That's uh, no. There's no missing my work cat. Cat is missing. It's just a cat that happened to be by the station one For day. It's three not Chrissy's... days. It's not Chrissy's no. cat. It, she had no ownership of it. It's someone else's cat. No, no. Well, I was gonna no. feed it, but then I kept no. forgetting to buy the cat food. Yes. It would be mine if yeah. I fed it. No. Yeah. No, because other people own the cat. It's no, their it cat. had no collar. Just because it doesn't have a collar doesn't mean it's not someone else's. Oh, fine. It's some, still someone else's. It's the, their cat. He was very pretty. I'm right. sad. Right. That's Don't be sad. It still exists. Yeah. It's just not yours. We could have him here during the week and I could take him home on weekends. <laughs> Uh, it took that long for your husband to call in. Yes, yep. <laughs> no, I'll tell her. Yep, yep. He said uh, 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 no, and then and then put some curse words in there, and then Aww, said way. But I want to yeah. take a cat mm-hmm. on a walk. I... <laughs> Where on a hot tin roof? Uh, no, just oh. like on a regular walk, just oh. like walking the cat. All right, all right, <laughs> all right then. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, I know we have to get to. Uh, 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 to our, our mush down and uh, a lot of things in a little bit of time, but I do want to uh, uh, mention our winner of the Shagan Man Till fifty dollar gift card this week. It is Donna Wilkin Miller. She won uh, by getting registered on ninety eight Gold's Facebook page. Uh, ordering groceries has never been easier. New online shopping at Shagan Man Till saves you time and money. In store sale prices, pick up or delivery, online coupons, reward points, and more. Life made simple, food made easy. Sign up using your rewards account, login, and password at shop.strikeamantill.com. Congratulations to Donna Wilkin Miller, winner of this week's Find the Big Deal with Strike Till. Okay. 
Chrissy, are you prepared for our mush down of things? And yeah. You've got a timer set. Mm. Uh, is there a timer set is the question that I'm asking and mm-hmm. all the rest of the world wants to know. Yep, sure is. we go into the weekend. Mm-hmm. Today we talked about uh, Tina Louise not getting paid for her Funko Pop. Come on, Funko Come Pop on. people. Get money. And uh, the median age being 39 in the U.S. We mm-hmm. talked about that. Mm-hmm. Hold on to your readers. And yeah. we talked about <laughs> Kevin Costner's wife winning a... She wants She wants money. She wants all Lots the money. Lots of money. She wants your money, my money, mm-hmm. all the money. Mm-hmm. Um, Priscilla and uh, having a fight with the building. I'm not real sure. Like Elvis's estate. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. And five things neighbors hate. That's what we talked about. And that's my time. <laughs> Chrissy thinks a state is, <laughs> is only How do you attached fight with to a... the word real. <laughs> How do you have a fight with an inanimate object? An estate is like an estate. <laughs> she thinks it's only attached to the word real. Yeah, I guess. Real and estate. Steve's a big deal in Iowa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that came from. Uh, all right, if you really want to know what we talked about, check out our Facebook pages. Uh, no, you can probably check out our podcast, which also goes on our Facebook page now. Uh, check out our podcast on Spotify, iHeart, Apple Podcast, Amazon, and more. You can uh, do so as well on our station apps. Let's see if Chrissy gets to that. No, no, couldn't do it. He nope. went away. I yep. don't know where he yep. went. My reaction time is not. No, not there. No. no. Uh, so, uh, so go ahead and check out our podcast. It's on our uh, uh, station Facebook pages as well, WLQI 98 Gold. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, also want to mention tonight and tomorrow, your last chances to go see Chrissy Martin starring in Sherlock Holmes. Hey, that gnat's bothering me. Uh, <laughs> and make sure you're there early. Doors open at 630. 630. 630. Mm-hmm. Last night was sold out, kids. And yeah. I'm just telling you, someone's going to have to move if I get there. So I, I'm <laughs> going to want a chair. I'm just saying. Maybe you could sit on a lap. Uh, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. We could sit on laps. We okay. can do whatever. But I'm I'm getting a chair somehow. It's either, I'm either going to be there tonight or tomorrow. So, um, uh, But I can't wait to see Chrissy Martin uh, in uh, <laughs> uh, playing uh, Regina Musgrave in Sherlock Holmes. Hey, is that the girl from the radio? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, so yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, otherwise, have yourself a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you enjoyed listening to the show today as much as we enjoyed doing it. And we will see you on Monday right here in Deweyville. Take care.